Okay, audio check. Quick audio check. Okay, let's go ahead and do a sync check. So one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. I think we are good.
<laughs> 10 seconds, yeah. Are you a mobile hacker? <laughs> Hi, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, if you haven't noticed, I've changed the overlays a little bit. If you look, if you look... That cut is seamless now. Do you see, like, like the, the brown banner in the center? It's a seamless cut now. Because I finally, like, transferred the images properly. So that's what I did yesterday. Instead of homework. Let's go. <laughs> so, I did a different, like... It's basically it's, it's the same overlay, but I color-coded it. So today's red. I did a red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Hi, Dex. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Oh, hi. Hi, hacker. Forgot to say hi. <laughs> um, so that's what I did yesterday. That way it's not like the same green, because I was getting kind of tired of the green. Um, I could, like... I can leak. I can leak what the blue one looks like. Doesn't that blue look cool? Because it's color coded, you can see up top it's still got some green in it. But I, I like the blue one the best. We'll see that later next week, probably. Get back to red. There we go, back to red. <laughs> On lunch break, let's go. We got you for a little bit of time today. Okay, so as you guys know, we're not doing challenge re runs every week anymore. But what we can do is we can run a poll. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to mention. Um chat wanted to do more tournaments. So I think it's fair if we do a tournament every month. Meaning there's not gonna be a prize for top three every month because I cannot be dropping a hundred bucks every month on chat. I cannot afford it. But I think what we can do is we can do, like, one random participant gets $25. I think that's affordable. I think that's doable. So if you guys are down, we can do that every month. If you look at my Twitch schedule, I have the next tournament scheduled for the last... I think we can do the last Sundays of every month. So I think the tournament for this month... I gotta look at my calendar. Will be for May 29th. That way you guys get, like, a couple weeks heads up. I think what we talked about last week is um, we can do, like, a different challenge. I think that would be interesting for every tournament. That way um, we don't have the sweats and the secret pro gamers winning every month. So um, this month's challenge for tournament is going to be easy. No items. That way people can solely focus on their lines and stuff. I think that'll be interesting. But then for future, like, monthly tournaments, chatters can take, take Scout's Honor. Similar to how when I do a challenge stream, where you'll say, I'm not going to break, or I'm not going to drift, that type of thing. I think that'll be interesting to try. So we can try that for future months, but I know for this month, we're probably just going to do no items. So that'll be on the last Sunday of the month, so May 29th, at 11 a.m. Warm-up start at 10. It'll be on the schedule, but I'll give you guys like a weekly heads up about it. Um, so yeah, that'll be the plan for how we're going to do tournaments in the future. Okay, so, since we got a few people in here, we can go ahead and run a poll. Usually I do, um, which challenge? I do a poll at top of stream, that way chat can decide which challenge I do. The poll is going to be up for 10 minutes. So we have no breaking. No drifting. No items. And what was the last one? No breaking, no drifting, no items. Yeah, I think this, the, just those three options are good. So, make sure you guys go vote in the poll. So we're gonna do normal against computers, and then as the poll fills up, it will decide what challenge one we are doing today. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, also, if you guys are regulars in chat, I did adjust my audio levels today. So does everything sound fine? Is everything good? Because I know on Sunday stream, I felt so bad. Okay, we have one vote for no drifting. Fuck whoever put no drifting. <laughs> Dr no drifting is literally the worst. I mean, it's fine. Vote how you want. Honestly, vote how you want. 
<laughs> was it you, Nyx? Was it you? Oh, also, uh, Twitch announced today that for channel point predictions, they're going to offer more than two options, which I think is interesting. But I think we can still just do first for computer games. So will Megan get first place? Yes or no? Obviously, blue is believe, no is doubt. <laughs> no drifting sounds more challenging. It literally is. It literally is. Okay, prediction is up. Go place your bets, chat. We have two votes for no drifting. Guys, come on. I want some of you little shits to try no drifting. Okay, prediction is up. Go place your bets, chat. It's only up for a minute. Okay, when I trash talk you guys, I'm not actually being mean. Let me clarify. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. We have 30 and believe, 0 in doubt. Remember, this is if I can get first place. I did a few practice runs earlier, and I got so actually genuinely upset because I was holding first, like, the whole race, and then I got bombarded with items at the end, and I got an 8th place. Legit, I was upset. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, we dodged the bell. He's clap. I think for these warm-up matches, I'm gonna do 200 CC, and then I'm gonna do the priest that I don't have three-star gold trophies in, because I think in this pre I only have a one-star. Oh, dude, that was way too close. Yeah, the line could have been better. <laughs> I wasn't even drawing. We got solid protection. Wait, how did he pass me? Like, actually. <laughs> I usually don't try and boost off the cogs because, like, it's always so hard to aim. Ah, oh, dude, we dodged that. <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. We're warming up, we're warming up. I was feeling a little bit evil there. No, no, come on! Sag. Uh, just a gentle question. Is audio good? Is, like, the game loud enough? I Because, like, I want the game to only be, like, a little bit softer than I am. So is it good? I, I did a test stream earlier and it seemed fine. Oh, new prediction. I gotta get a new prediction up. You struggle at 50cc? Oh, no. Oh, no. Audio sounds fine. Thank you, Nix. I appreciate it. Because Sunday stream, I, saw, I was genuinely so upset with myself. Because, um, as y'all know, I upgraded my laptop to Windows 11 about a month ago, and it's been running a lot better in terms of, like, speed and processing. But sometimes it'll disable certain settings. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, but what happened was, because the way I have my mic set up, as you can see, it's out of frame. It's about a foot away from me. So in order to, like, have it not pick up, like, the sound of my fan that's at full blast right now, um, I had to change the input level to, I think, 70%. Um, but what happened when I did my most recent update, I think the other day, it changed my microphone settings. So it changed my microphone to input at 100%. That's why on Sunday stream, my mic sounded really blown out. <laughs> um, so that was, and I didn't realize it because like it sounded fine when I was doing tech checks. But then I listened to the VOD and I was like, my mic is literally way too loud. <laughs> so like chatters, if you notice that like everything is different than normal, whether it be like the audio sounds different from usual, or like, if you see something glitching out, it just give me like a gentle reminder. That type of stuff doesn't annoy me. Because as you guys know, streaming is usually like a one-man show, meaning you don't have someone on deck to like help you with tech stuff. So if you notice something unusual, just be like, hey, I noticed this, and I'll be like, thank you. 
sounds fine to you? Okay, cool. That's good. Because the way that um, you can record audio for streaming, you can save your files as like a single MP4. Or if your computer can handle it, you can save it as like an audio and a video file. That way you can edit them, edit them separately. But I can't do that because it'll literally make my laptop shit itself. <laughs> so I can't really edit audio post. The blue show coming. Everyone is really close far, far behind me though. Come on, come on. No! No! Okay! That was so mean! Wario sniped and threw the green shell behind him. That was genuinely so mean and rude. Okay, like I said, we're warming up right now. Choose outcome. Sag believers again. I I'll win the next one. I will do it for you guys. <laughs> Uh, gentle reminder, if you haven't already pulled this up, go vote chat. Right now we got two votes for no drifting. Please somebody change that vote. I hate no drifting. There's a reason why I haven't done the no drifting challenge again. It is brutal. <laughs> okay. I could have saved with the mushroom. I could have. I could have. True. I just need to get good, I guess. <laughs> Okay, also, new prediction is up. Go place your bets. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys are following me on Twitter, but if you aren't, you should go follow exclamation Twitter in chat. Um, after Sunday's calligraphy stream, I have like a fat ass paper cut on my index finger. So thankfully, okay, <laughs> thankfully my index finger is not, like, needed to press any buttons, like, it's just to grab my controller. Hey, that was rude. That was genuinely so rude. I got sniped by a green shell twice in a row. Anyway, I have a fat-ass paper cut on my finger, and it hurts. And, like, I didn't notice it until I started washing dishes this morning. I was like, oh my god, this sucks. <laughs> Cause you know, like, the worst thing you can get in a paper cut is soap. It, it hurts so much. Okay, I think there's a reason why I don't have a three star in this pre. Cause I don't think I'm good at any of these tracks. Dude, again?! These computers are cracked! Oh my god! <laughs> They fell off. As do I. Yeah, exactly. Hand sanitizer too. Oh my god. Because, like, when I used to work in food service, it was required to, um, like, wash your hands with sanitizer after every single wash. And, like, the skin on my hands is really sensitive. So every time I, like, I put sanitizer on it, because, like, my, the hands on my skin is really dry, like, my fingers would, like, start cracking and bleeding. And it's like, the sanitizer is not helping at all. Because, like, if you wash your hands well enough, you don't necessarily need sanitizer, but I understand if you need to use it if it's, like, company policy, but still, like, I wish I could have gotten, like, a waiver or something. <laughs> Dude, look at that! I got, I got first, guys! Look at that. Believers, I finally pulled through and got a first for you guys. Like I said, I just need to warm up a little bit, you know? <laughs> okay. It appears no drifting is one. So I'm gonna go ahead and change our title real quick. To MK Deluxe No Drifting. Good job, chat. You guys chose the worst option. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so from here on out, we're not gonna drift. So I think we're going to do a few more rounds with computers, and then we'll switch to online. <laughs> yeah, 
I feel like it's an old people thing. The <laughs> worst option, Lamau. <laughs> um, because like new prediction that's up, guys. Go place your bets. I'm not old by any means. I just turned 23, so I'm still pretty young. But like, <clears throat> I I find myself like getting bruised and paper cuts a lot more. I think it's because like, okay, I'm not allowed to drift. I'm not allowed to drift. I'm not allowed to drift. <laughs> Oh, this is a good track for no drifting. This is not too bad. Anyway. Because, like, my grandma, she has really thin skin on her own. Like, I remember we went on a trip together, and she tripped on a coffee table. And, like, she fucked up her leg pretty bad. Like, she scraped up her, like, the whole front end of her leg. And we felt bad because it was in, like, this nice-ass hotel. <laughs> and there was just, like, blood all over the carpet. <laughs> I mean, after that happened, I made sure to, like, carry a first aid kit with me at all times. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to change my bike, though. I was thinking, like, probably a cart would be better. strategy we developed last time, yeah, this challenge was breaking and then also um, popping. So instead of like holding the drift button, okay, nothing I could have redeemed myself there. <laughs> and like hopping. So just gently pressing R1 to hop. Hi, Issa. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Hey, sad. <laughs> no shot I could have gotten first there. <laughs> what did he even get? I think I got like eight, but <clears throat> thank you, Issa. I I color coded all my layouts, so that's what I did yesterday. So I basically um I had to remake all my files because all my previous files were in um my um, drawing program, which is very similar to, like, um, Procreate, but it's not good for, like, making sure your images, like, blow up well, meaning, like, um, a lot of your stuff will export really pixelated, so I had to import everything into a Photoshop document. Um, but I think it looks cool. Like, there's a different color for every day now. Because I made rainbow, so, like, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink, but I don't know if I'm gonna use pink because the pink was way too close to the purple. Cause like I wanted to change out the overlays because green is getting kind of boring, you know? Wait, wait, I want to try something else. This used to be my old build. This right here. And we did fairly decent with this challenge. Yeah, I want to do this one. <gasps> Oh my god! Thank you for the resub, Kitty Lee. I appreciate it. Love you too, hon. You're gonna get your name ran at end of stream in the sub journal! So look forward to that. Okay. Um. Oh, hi, welcome to stream, Kitty Lee. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> um, prediction is up. Go Gamba, guys. Oh, who? <laughs> Who's putting all their points in Believe? Guys, we're still doing the no drifting challenge, you know. <laughs> Okay, I haven't used this bike in a long time. Okay, I don't know if hop is going to be the strat. I feel like braking is gonna be a bit easier on us. Because with the larger wheels, I can't necessarily turn as quickly. Oh, I, I feel so slow right now. <laughs> You believe? Okay, go for it. I threw the red shell into the wall. I know what I'm doing, guys. For being supportive, yes, I love my believers. But also, it's a bad idea. If you want to lose points, go for it. <laughs> ah! No! 
okay. Nothing I could have done there. Where are all these bananas coming from? Oh my god. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to hop on this turn. This is 200? Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like it because I'm breaking way too much, but this is 200. I can come back somehow. I'm only- I'm only in sixth place, guys. <laughs> See, you just have to time your hops properly. Okay, that was actually pretty solid. Dude, I had second for like three seconds. Could've held. Oh, come on, come on! I'm so close! I'm almost there! <laughs> come on! Come on! Man, these bananas are just screwing me over right now. <laughs> we got 12. Let's go. Okay, but imagine the doubters keep, keep getting more and more brazen. Doubters put like 1k, believers put like 50, and then I win. And then believers get all of the 1k points. Well, one time, I'm gonna get first. I'm gonna get first at least once today with this challenge. <laughs> Thank you for clipping. I appreciate it, Issa. Hey, new prediction is up. Go place your bets, chat. Okay, this is definitely easier with this bike, though. I feel like this challenge would be easier with, like, tilt controls, to be honest. Like, it'd be easier to, like, visualize. item boxes. Pro gamer. We're not doing too bad. Oh, they have protection. I should have held. Oh, we just still got him. A dumbass in first place still threw when there was nobody in front of him. That was an L. They took a massive L right there. As do I. <laughs> I'm too good. Yeah, I should go pro. This might be a race where I can get a solid first place. This could be it. Oh, come on. I'm right there. Oh, dude, that drift. Okay, okay. Come on. see that I told you I would get a first I told you guys <laughs> oh my god is is it yes it is the real piece in but hi Emmy welcome to stream hope you're doing well today <laughs> thank you for the resub let's go another one baby you're gonna go ahead and get your name Raina and a stream as usual dude I cannot believe I clutched 
and got a first. Actually, I almost clicked no by accident for the prediction. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get first? Yes, I got first this time. That was actually crazy. Sag doubters. Get fucked. Okay, on to the next one. I think changing my bike build definitely helped with this challenge. Love the hoodie, thank you. It's from Teddy Fresh. I love this one. I was gonna get their blue color block, but then I was like, you know, I gotta branch out. I gotta wear more brighter colors. So I got the pastel. Great, new prediction is up. Go place your bets, chat. Koopa Trooper. Okay. Wait, Koopa. Can we play as the turtle, dude? <laughs> yeah, 50 is a good safe amount. Um, I'll be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I drifted there. We're we're not doing steaks today because Megan's broke. Megan cannot afford to gift today. We saved those for 3D World streams, but I did drift. So um, I I don't know what this means. It just means oopsie, I messed up. <laughs> You guys can type scam or whatever, I don't know. I don't- <laughs> Like, I don't have anything to lose. Nobody snitch though, okay? Nobody snitch. Can I just say, I was being honest? Like, I was honest about it, I didn't try and hide it. I mean, but also you can, you can like, see... Cause you're, when you're drifting, you can see the sparks on the ground, so I guess you could kinda tell. Just pretend nobody's looking me up. People in stream, obviously, they can tell. <laughs> For a 3D world, do I do online? No. Because, like, it's a blind playthrough because I've never played the game. So maybe, I don't know. I'm still indifferent about playing with viewers. Like I said, we're only going to do the monthly tournaments as of right now. <laughs> but I think it'd be like, SM3D World would be more like a good collab stream with another streamer, you know? Not for, like, viewers, I think. <laughs> And like, also with 3D World, I like just exploring. Okay, there's literally no way I can catch up from here. No shot. <clears throat> oh, okay. I was like, that one's pretty solid, but actually, it's horrible. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hopping when I should be breaking, I think. I think that's my problem. Oh, come on! I'm stuck by the tree! <laughs> May turn end of month. Yes, I think we're gonna do monthly um, tournaments as we discussed last week I think this month is scheduled for the last Sunday of the month at 11 so <clears throat> It should be on my twitch schedule page I think like if you just click through to the end of the month, I think it's the 27th or the 29th I don't remember the date But for that stream or for that journey, we're gonna do new items and then similar to like the challenge runs every month we're gonna do a different challenge so kind of like how we were talking about last week Issa <laughs> a new prediction is up go place your bets chat time is non-existent I know right Ah, it's okay hacker I'm glad you got to hang out with us for a little bit though <laughs> I mean you could also like watch on your phone under your desk too that could work <laughs> Um, but I hope, you have, I hope you have a good one, man. Ah! <laughs> Didn't I say I was gonna choose, like, an easier free? 
Oh wait, but I did get a first. I did get a first on Toad's Harbor. So that is a W in my book. Okay, whoever put the banana in the water, evil. Yeah, I think we will do no drifting for a future tournament. I kind of want to start off easy. That's why this mo this month is going to be no items. But I think we're just going to do the standard. Like, no items. No drifting, no breaking. Yeah, but I've never liked this time of year. Like, to, the transition between spring and summer. Because it's just a reminder that the school year is gonna end, you know? It's like, yes, summer is cool, but also you don't get to see your friends as much. And like, when I was little, my parents wouldn't let me like, go out and do stuff. So like, school was the only time I could really see my friends. Oh, dude, I fell off! I had a solid second right there. Toe controls only that. That I think that would be a good idea too. But honestly, toe controls aren't that bad. But hi, welcome to stream. Absolution. Hope you're doing well today. Cause like I think the last time I did toe controls as a challenge, it wasn't even a challenge. It was pretty easy. I think it's just like getting over the mental barrier that oh, this is toe controls. Come on, I'm so close. First is right there. Second was in my grasp. <clears throat> Sag. Yeah, I agree. I grew up playing Mario Kart on the Wii as well. So, like, I was used to tilt controls. Like, I have no idea. I cannot conceptualize how I played with tilt controls. <laughs> it's crazy to me. To think that was my number. I also used to play without drifting. Like, what was wrong with little 12-year-old Megan? My god. Nice try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, a few races ago, Isidaga redeemed Koopa Trooper. I don't know if he can play as the... What'd you call it? The turtle. Oh, right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there it is. I thought he wasn't an option. Okay, I think we're gonna stick with this bike build, because this one isn't too bad. I want to go faster, though. Yeah, we'll stick with this one for now. Stick with what we know. In no shot, we could do this one without drifting. Get yeah, this one, baby. This one could be doable. <clears throat> okay, new, pr new prediction is up. Go place your bets, chat. Yeah, I agree, because, like, you know, like, the Wii controller, it had, like, the little plastic wheel you can attach to it. it felt so cool. I, doesn't the Switch have, like, the... Like, the thing with the actual, like, gas pedal and brake pedal, and then the wheel? I think I saw it online for, like, 80 bucks, and I was like, no shot. No way I can ever justify buying that. Okay, so that turn was just breaking. Let's try hopping. Okay, hopping is definitely the way to go. Because when I break, I lose my momentum. Oh! <laughs> the only thing 
thing I don't like about this no drifting is that 200cc doesn't feel as fast. Because I think the whole point of playing 200cc is going fast. Because it's fun. No, I wasted it! Okay, I knew it was gonna hit. Yeah, imagine using the wheel, because like I saw Scootish use it and I was like, that seems kind of fun. But also, I'm not gonna drop $80 on it. No way. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing the launch for um I don't know what it's called, but it's like the like the carbon accessories you could get for the Switch. And I was like, oh, that's really cool and creative. But also, like, I could never see myself enjoying that toy as, like, a little kid. Because just me in general, when I was little, I didn't have a lot of imagination. So I don't think I could have, like, had fun with it, you know? <laughs> like, it'd be cool if they had, like... Oh, okay. I, I... Yeah, the Labo, that's what it is. That's what it was called. Like, I feel like someone probably ripped it and, like, scanned it and made, like, a PDF that you can print out and cut. But also, just thinking about little kids, like, Zacto blading cardboard does not seem like... Does not seem safe. <laughs> oh no, we had 169 and believe? Dude, doubters are up, like, 1600% right now. <laughs> doubters stocks right now. <laughs> doubters investments just on the up and up, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's get a new prediction up, guys. Go place your bets. We've only had one W today with this challenge. We've gotten one first place. Can we get another? Maybe? Imagine? <clears throat> okay. Oh, easy clap! Yeah, I feel like this track won't be too bad. What?! The red shell's cancelled out. The timing! Okay, I feel like my issue was I was hopping way too much. So if I just like properly time my hops, I think I'll be fine. These computers are way too good. How are they so good at sniping? Oh my god, we're in first! Holy shit! Okay, I wasn't drifting. That was a natural drift. We, we confirmed last time that if your cart tilts in a way that is... That le that it... But... <laughs> That at least far enough and it creates a natural dip that it does not count. It's just the in-game natural mechanics. Nice, tried it. Okay, we're heading into the laughter. We've got a solid second place. I have I do not have full protection anymore. <laughs> I just need to get close to somebody. Hey, two! Two for one! Okay. Alright, I don't know why I'm yelling right now. Okay, was it worth? We clapped two people. Will we fill back to sixth place? Was it worth? For the glory? Yes. Oh my god! I feel like all the computers are stream snapping me right now. There, there was nothing I could have done to get out of there. Ah, this could have been the run! This could have been it! If I didn't get greedy, I could have gotten maybe a second. <coughs> Sag doubters. Okay, I know we're gonna get at least one more W today. We can get one more. If we did it once, we can do it again.
Okay, new predictions up. Go place your bets, chat. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they placed the fence there on purpose. Whoa, somebody insta-believed. <laughs> I love my believers, guys. Okay, this is gonna be the easier path. Hit him midair! Haha, <laughs> we got Yoshi. Okay, I feel like this one isn't too bad. Breaking is definitely the way to go. Yeah, this track is easy. This one is totally doable. I didn't get anybody. I got greedy. Yeah, I would have lost the boombox anyway, so... At least I didn't waste it. Anybody else have that feeling to where, like... Especially like, crafters and people who do art stuff, like, you buy all these supplies and never use them because you feel like, Oh, I'll need to use them one day, and then you just keep them in your room, because you're a hoarder. Anybody else? Just me? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Patch. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. <laughs> right now, we're doing no drifting. Okay, I didn't even try? Oh yeah, I agree. Like, when you buy way too many games. <laughs> or like, when there's like a sale on the Nintendo eShop or the Steam Shop, and you're like, ah, I don't need it, but I can buy it now and save 20 bucks, but also I'm never gonna play it. Come on, I'm so close, I'm so close. Come on, come on. Hit him! <laughs> Ah, uh, dude, I was close. I was pretty close on that one. I, I kind of want to do that one again. I feel like that could be it. It's been the worst day of my life. I got the wrong poutine. Dude, I feel you on that. Because, like... Uh, I, I have sympathy for service workers. I used to work in food... So I understand the struggle, but also, how hard is it to double check an order before it leaves your kitchen? I do not understand how difficult it is, because when I worked at, um, Subway, I only messed up, like, three orders in the whole span of working three years. So I, my accuracy, a solid 99.999%, right? And it's like, how difficult is it? I didn't run a prediction, Sag. Mods! Okay. There we go. Prediction is up, guys. Um, <clears throat> how difficult is it to check the order before it leaves the kitchen? <laughs> I bought an iPad for art, but have I used it for art? No, Lamau. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Back in like my first Animal Crossing save, I had like so much, so many bells, so much money, but I never spent it. Because I was like, I need to save it for, like, the fancy couch. But then even when I saw the fancy couch in the store, I'm like, I don't need it. I don't need to buy it. <laughs> yeah, back when I had, like, PlayStation Premium. I think it was called PlayStation Plus to where, like, you get a free game every month and then, like, discounted games. I was like, ooh, that's pretty cool and sick. But also, like, half of the free games or, like, the discounted ones were ones that I didn't even like. Or didn't seem interesting to me. So I did <clears throat> finally cancel my PlayStation subscription because I haven't used PlayStation online in literally two years. So I got charged a hundred bucks fifty a year. So thankfully I canceled it before I got charged next month. Thumbs up! I finally did something right. Can I just say, I'm disappointed that Nyx is now a doubter. <laughs> you said you'd believe every time, but look at you. I see that doubter badge next to your user. 
SMH did. <laughs> but honestly, I don't. I don't. I'm not too mad. <laughs> PlayStation is cancelled. Exactly. <laughs> because, like, I think my sister still has her PlayStation Premium account. But also, she doesn't play online games, so it's like, what's the point? Wait, guys, I'm in first! Holy shit! It seems like in the final stretch I get fucked. I get absolutely fucked. <laughs> no mushrooms. Yeah, I got fucked with the items at the end. There. I got two fucking red shells. <sighs> Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I think we will do one more round with um computers and then we'll switch to online. Cuz I think I'm doing decent with this challenge. It's not too difficult. It's just a matter of like some tracks are easier than others, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah. But hey! Before we start our next pre. <laughs> yeah, definitely the computers are literally stream snapping. Okay. No, you're fine, Patch. As long as you don't say anything bad by accident, you're fine. <laughs> what if Mario had drag racing maps? Hmm. How would that go? Like, what if they did a track where it's just, like, a runway? I think that'd go hard. I think that'd be insane. <laughs> I don't- okay. I don't know how many people would like it, though. I feel like the little, um, edgelords on Twitter would lose their fucking mind. They'd be like, HOW DARE THEY HAVE rep REPRESENTATION IN VIDEO GAMES?! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nick said it. As soon as I get money, I need to buy everything. Literally same. Like, when I had a job, I would- every other week, I would go to the mall and buy clothes. I had an- I had a problem. <laughs> Mario Kart Elitist. Yep, that's me. Okay. You guys know what time it is, right? We are another- er, we are into our first hour stream. So, it is ad time, baby! I need to fulfill my contractual obligation and run- a few minutes of ads, but you can avoid that ad break for subscribing for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Or if you have an Amazon Prime sub available, it should be in like, it'll have a little Prime icon on your screen somewhere or next to the subscription button. So in order to get that set up, you just need to link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and you get a free sub every month. It's pretty cool. I gave my Prime sub to Ready Day Games yesterday. So, yeah. <laughs> um, an ad is coming, so we will see some of you guys in a few. Or if we have any gifters, any secret oilers want to gift chat subs, mod check. <laughs> now is the time. Okay, and anyway, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Okay. Dude, I regret wearing a sweatshirt today. Because it's starting to, like, finally get a little bit warm here in Washington. And it's really fucking hot in my room right now. But, like... Because, like, I've been feeling cute lately. That's why, like, I'll, like, dress up a little bit more. But today, I was like, eh. I was not feeling it. <laughs> okay, what would be a good pre to do? Oh, can we do a DLC? Let's do a DLC. I, like... I think this has got to be my favorite pre in the whole game. One, because Coconut Mall. And then Toad Circuit is really simple, but it's a fun track. <laughs> oh, dude, I hate that shit. Where it's like, you can't change the thermostat. Okay, in my house, we don't have AC. We don't have air conditioning. So during like the summers where it's 100 degrees, we all fucking die. <laughs> like, we camp out at our, at our neighbor's house because she is AC. New prediction is up. Go place your best chat. But yeah, I agree, Absolution. Like, I cannot wait until all the new tracks come out. I cannot wait. 
I'm genuinely so excited. Oh, this first turn, this first turn. Okay, this that turn is gonna fuck me. How can you not like this track? I love it. Oh yeah, Meeple Treeway, that's another good one. Honestly, I was excited for Coconut Mall. Like, that was the only track that I wanted to see in the DLC. But now that we have it... Not that I'm underwhelmed for all the other potential tracks. But it's just like, nothing can beat Coconut Mall. But how can you not like this track? I like it. It threw, me off, it threw me off so much. Because like, I remember I didn't... I tried to avoid watching gameplay until I played it myself. And I was getting so confused watching someone play this track. Because like, you know how it mixes... Or it, it reverses the stage on the last lap? I got so confused. I was like, what is going on? No! Come on! Yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely concentrating right now, because I have a decent lead. Dude, we almost hit the banana. Dodge. Saved. We, we have a solid first right now. This is my track to win, guys. Do we have any doubters? We literally had no doubters. Okay, cool. But also, if I win this one, I wanted to, like, say fuck you to the doubters. But we had no doubters this round, so... That's fine, I guess. Here we got a boombox, we got full protection, and a banana. Let's go. First? I know. Pretty pago. Hi, right, welcome to chat, Ethan. Hope you're doing well today. Another one, baby! Okay, I don't know what I was doing with my hands there. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like for the Coconut Mall, for this version, it feels like the lines are almost more complex and, like, there's more boosts. I don't know. Yeah, we got another first, guys. That's crazy. Another one. DJ Khaled. Yeah, I need some water. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> like, I was ragging on Mario Kart Tour because I was like, ew, mobile game. But maybe I need to actually try it out. I don't know, is it cringe? I feel like it's like it's also just difficult for me to like hold the phone. It's eh, okay. That, that's what I thought. It's like how good can a mobile game be, you know? Okay, new prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. Can we get two W's in a row, guys? Oh, they made it a gacha game. Ah, oh, dude, fuck that. I think- okay. <laughs> the only mobile game that I spent money on was um, Pokemon Go. And I think I spent a total of... $200 on Pokemon Go. Cause I would spend like $20 like every other week. So I spent $200- OH MY GOD! Thank you for gifting a sub to Ethan! Cool, they get to enjoy ad reviewing and super cool emotes. We also hit our sub goal! OH MY GOD! Thank you for the gift of sub, Nix. I appreciate it. Oh, that means I get- I have to give Chad a hug. Frick. Okay, we'll do that later. <laughs> See, like, I wanted to, like, buy a skin for Pokemon Unite, because, like, I was really into Pokemon Unite a few months ago. But, like, I haven't played it in a week. Sag. And I think the new- is the new, like, season starting this week? I feel like it's going to. Guys, I'm in second place! Yeah, see, I wanted to buy some skins. Like, I was very close to buying one. Come on! All these freaking green shells! Keep murking me! Hey, blue shell, fuck first place. Yeah, we hit the sub goal. Let's go! Oh, okay, chatters, chatters. If we have any secret oilers or any fellow broke, generous viewers, if we hit 50 subs, 
And to be in a video game, just do that please first. No! First was right there! I, if I could have like turned better, I could have yoinked first place from everyone. I think I just got too frazzled from the gifted sub and also getting spun out by Link's fucking bananas. Dude, I could have gotten it. Okay. Sag. Um, what was I saying? Oh! I owe Chad a hug. Okay, so if we do hit 50 subs, guys, that means current subs will get two new regular emotes and then one new animated emote because I can unlock two more slots if we hit 50 subs. That's just... I'm, I'm just telling you guys. But okay. Once again, thank you, Nix, for gifting, so... Everybody, get up, stand up. We're gonna wait like five seconds for the mobile viewers. Everybody, get up, stand up. Okay, so everybody up. Okay. Make sure to not knock over my desk. That would be bad. You ready? Okay. There we go. Dude, I look so red on camera right now. Okay, better. I got <laughs> I got scared. You guys made me blush. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's get a new um, sub goal up and running. I know it's kind of cringe to have goals on screen, but I think it's important to be transparent with like how many subs you have. I don't know. It's just how I kind of see things. <clears throat> There we go. New sub goals up, guys. Yeah, thank you. I think... What was it? I had, like, a... I think... A, like, two weeks ago, I think I had my sub goal at 50. When I had 30 subs. Which is not a good idea. <laughs> not a good idea. Because, kind of like how... If people see that you're close to breaking a goal, they're gonna want to break it, right? Like, I know if I'm in a stream, and I see that their dono goal is at, like, um, 50, and they're at 40, I will gladly drop a 10. Because just to have, like, be able to be like, oh, I broke the goal, you know? Like, just a little bit of attention, I, I crave. Like, I'm such a chatter. Loki, Aiki. Okay, this track is gonna suck. Actually suck. Okay, new prediction is up. Go place your bets. That's why you gifted. See, exactly. We know how you chatters work. We know how your mind thinks. But I- oh, dude. If I was a millionaire, I would give all of my spending money, mind you, on, like, streamers. Because, like, I think it's fun to, like, gift or cheer when something happens. Like, I think I was in Emmy's stream the other night, and, like, she was playing a shooter game. And, like, every time she won a match, I cheered 100 bits. Because <laughs> I was like, why not? Because <laughs> I just think it's fun. I don't know. Okay, also, I know I don't have a job, but I essentially have an allowance for my sister. So I'm not totally broke, like, I can afford to, like, buy food and shit. So, like, essentially I have, like, $50 of spending money every week, which I do save, I do set some aside. Oh! All these green shells! But I do, like, I allot myself, like, 10 to $20 to, like, donate to streamers, because in my head, one, it's free entertainment, for the most part. And also, if I can afford to, like, tip my delivery driver, or, like, my Uber driver or whatever, then I can afford to, like, tip my streamer. Because AGAIN! I hate these computers. <laughs> because there are a lot of, like, smaller creators who don't hit their, like, Twitch payout minimum, which I know I don't. Which is fine, because, like, I don't stream to make money, because that would be unsustainable. Again, all these freaking computers throwing items behind them! And, like, I know there's also some streamers, people who aren't super small, but, like, people who are, like, almost at the point where it can be, like, livable income, that's, like, crazy to me. Like, shoutouts to them, that's great, you know? Like, I think it'll be a long time to, like, get that point because the thing I don't necessarily like about Twitch or, like, streaming in general is that a lot of your income is, like, 
donations or based on like how many how like I guess giving and supporting your audiences, which I think it's like at its core, low-key kind of toxic, but that's just how it is. That's why like I don't like feeling like okay, I do show subs every hour. But that's because it's an ad break. I I think that's kind of funny. But otherwise, like I don't expect people to donate. I I don't expect people to sub. Because I understand, like, I can't afford to sub to everyone, too. But that's also why, like, I like to gift subs as, like, a stake sometimes. Because I think it's cool to give back occasionally. And it's cool, because, like, usually the people who get a gifted sub are people who can't afford to sub, you know? Ooh, coconut ball! I wasn't even paying attention. I know I did not get first last round. Okay, so this is our last race against computers. So this is most likely our last potential W today. Because <clears throat> there's no way I can do decent in online with this no drifting challenge. No shot. Okay, we got no items. Frick! Yeah, that line was decent. Yeah, that line was probably better than, like... Oh, I needed those shrimps. Honestly, probably better than I could have done without... We're just regularly drifting. <laughs> At least you don't spin out when you hit the cars. race is not going too bad. I'm doing better than I thought I would. Because Coconut Mall on its own is fairly difficult. Okay, we got a triple red. Let's go. Okay, one of them hit a car. Another close one. I feel like I'm getting better though. Like I'm not I'm not taking absolute L's as of recent. Hi Rose! Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Did we get first? No. <laughs> um, but today we're doing no drifting. So we're gonna see how it goes. <clears throat> okay. So as I said, that is doing or that was the last computer match we will do. So I think we'll do like 20 to 30 more minutes of Mario Kart with online. And then we'll switch gears to Animal Crossing. Yeah, I think I'm doing well. Like, I'm not doing insane. But I'm doing better than I thought I would. I actually think... I think I have a YouTube video on the last time I did the No Drifting Challenge. Yeah, so if you want to check out that video, it's on my YouTube channel. Oh, look at that. We got one first. <clears throat> okay, time for online. I think for online, we're gonna change the prediction. I think we're gonna change it to top six. Because if I can't even get top six in a normal lobby, <laughs> I don't think there's a way for me to get top six without drifting. I'm spectating. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> oh. 
How are you not subbed? I think you got gifted a sub last time, Rose. <laughs> oh, to your YouTube? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't promote my YouTube as much. Because, one, I don't hope Because, like... I like editing. It's fun. But also... Oh, cool. Thank you for subscribing. Let's go! I'm not going to be posting on, on the main channel very often because um, it's hard to like think of a good concept for a YouTube video that translates well during a stream. So for example, like the challenge runs, because I think the three videos I have on the channel right now are like edited highlights of the um, challenge runs I've done in the past. And one, it's hard to think of new challenges. Because, like, the only other challenges I can really think of are, like, really gimmicky. Where they're kind of like the, um, the brain freeze one where I was, like, chugging Slurpees and stuff. So I can't really think of any, like, new challenges I could do in the game. Because I don't want to do anything that's too gimmicky. Because I feel like a lot of people, when they're just starting out with content, they'll, like... Like, you ever see clips of people who, like... Do the pie in the face, or like wear really um, obnoxious makeup or face paint, and it's like, it's funny, but to me that type of content on its own is somewhat degrading. Like at its core, at its core, like it's fine if you do it, but like, if that's your shtick, then it's like, kind of cringe a little bit. But I can't really think of anything else that'll be like a good YouTube video concept. Anyway, new prediction is up for this race. Go Gamma Chat. We're still doing the no drifting challenge. <clears throat> okay, 10 in doubt. I see how it is. Wait, 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 wait. Frick, I said I was going to change the prediction, didn't I? <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway, we'll change prediction next race to top six. This race is still for top first. Let's <laughs> see if I win this time. Honey, you're for sure going to win because no shot. No way I get first place. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that sentiment, Nix. You you get it. That's why, like, I agree. Like, if you do stuff that is too fan servicey or too gimmicky, like, your audience has too much control over you, that's why, like, I tend to set up very clear boundaries in terms of, like, what I want people to talk about in chat or, like, how my own conduct is. Because if anybody knows me IRL or knows me if we're in DMs or whatever, like, I'm very vulgar. Like, my sense of comedy is very different from what it is on stream. Because it's just for my own protection. Because I feel like a lot of creators lean into that vulgarity shtick. Yes, it's entertaining, but I feel like that type of commentary or jokes brings kind of like people you don't necessarily want to stick around, you know? So I think it's important to have very clear boundaries between yourself and your viewers. <gasps> oh my god, game changing we had a star with the lightning bolt. Um so that's why, like, I will engage with people during the stream, but I, I try to, like, hold back a little when people engage off stream. <laughs> the train comes off the track? Yeah! <laughs> so it happens sometimes, not often, but... That's why, like, I don't like... I've said this before, but, like, don't DM me. Like, I think it's weird. Because, like, one, I'm just very antisocial in general. And it's like, unless you like need, okay, I, I don't know how to say it, but like, I don't like talking to people, I don't know. It's like, I, I don't like holding normal conversation unless there's like something that we need to talk about. Cause like, there was one guy who messaged me on Instagram and I was like, fine, I'll give it a shot. But then they were just like asking like, oh, how's your day going? And I'm like, cool. But then that was like as far as the conversation went, and I was like, I don't want to have like small talk with people, like that's kind of cringe. And it's like, if I feel awkward talking to like my normal friends who are like actually my friends, how do people expect me to like put time into like talking to randos online? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think a prime example of like where your audience 
not necessarily takes it too far, but like, if you ever go into like E-Rob's channel, because like the whole shit with E-Rob is that he takes L's all the time, that he's like, he sucks, or like, that type of thing. And like his whole chat, like they are me being and goofing, but they're all just shitting on him the whole time. That's where it's like, I'm, that's why when I'm still very small, mind you, I'm very small still. Like I have seen a good amount of growth over the past few months, um, but I need to like, I guess mold my chat room in a way to where like you guys stay this way. Like I don't want people to get toxic over time. Or I don't want people to like simp too much, you know? That's why I said, you can call me cute, but don't call me pretty. Like, that's a line that crosses, like, idolization, which is what I don't want. Um, dude, I don't like any of these tracks. Fuck these tracks. Okay, we're changing the prediction to top six. Gentle reminder, chatters, this is for top six. Okay? It's not for first place, it's for top six. Top six is a lot more achievable. So, gentle reminder, it is for top six. Go place your bets, chat. Yeah, like, okay. My thing was being trolly with in chatters. Okay, okay, we got 40 believe. Let's go. Nah, okay, we're getting some believers now. Thank God. <laughs> uh, my thing is, like, I know my own personal chat style. Like, I will be very trolly and meme -y, But there's also some things you shouldn't really joke about. Or, like, my thing is, like, my personal rule is, like, if I wouldn't say it to my mom, I should not type it out, you know? Like... Um, I know being a mod or a VIP gives you, like, a little bit more protection because, like, chatters along with the streamer know you're joking. But also, like, there are some jokes you should hold back on. Because, like I said, my normal humor is very vulgar. But it's, like, I should hold back on some of those jokes even if I'm, like, seen as a figure with authority in chat. <clears throat> oh, Okay. We can do it. I can get top six. Top six? Totally doable, guys. <laughs> okay, that first part wasn't too bad. I think no drifting on this track is totally doable. Oh my god, yoinked! You've got fifth place? Oh! God, why are you throwing behind you? I hate these people! I should have held. They had full protection right there. <laughs> I hate how the fire bounces off the walls. Let's not fall off. That is not the way to go. <laughs> that guy fell off. I think it's so funny watching other play players fall off the map. Because yes, that's usually me all the time. But it's just funny laughing at their demise. Ah, oh, come on, we're so close! Okay, now we can catch up. No! I knew that was coming. Give me something good. Give me a bullet bill, please. Ah, oh, no. Damn. 
Ignore my prediction, it's fine. No, it's not fine. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Sag. I I'm trying guys. I'm generally trying. Okay, this is an easy course. Tokyo Blur is easy. You're right, ninth is better than twelfth, but not good enough. Okay, new prediction is up, go Gamba. Gentle Miter is for top six. Like a top six. Oh, dude, my shoulder just popped. Okay. I spent yesterday... I'll be broke if you keep losing. <laughs> sure, how many points do you guys have? Chatters. How many channel points do you all have? Are you guys saving up for anything? I know Mario Kart is the time where we gamble. 2.4k, let's go. Oh, dude, I did not realize I will sing a song as only 1k. I thought it was more than that. Shoot. Got 700. Let's go. You have 4.2k, Rose, and you're complaining about losing points? 4.2 is pretty good. That's a hefty amount still. I will sing a song. Well, I was hoping one of you guys would do it. <laughs> They go so fast. True. True. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Yeah. <laughs> you see, like, I want to sing a song every stream. Mainly because, like, I want to clip it and put it on Twitter. Because I have no content for Twitter. And I think it's so funny when chatters, like, learn that I can sing. And it's like, Lamau, yes, I can. I have many talents. I also draw sometimes. I haven't drawn in ages. I don't think I've drawn in, what... Okay, drawn for fun. Cause like I've made art projects for school, cause I'm an art school guy. Imagine, but I haven't drawn for myself in like five or six months. Uh, how? Okay, it hit somebody. I was like, how did it not that guy not spin up? <laughs> okay, now I have to think of what song I want to sing. Cause like I was thinking about this last night. I was like. I've sung all the songs that I want to sing. Okay, also, I'm not taking requests, because requests are cringe, and also, like, I'm not gonna sing a song that I don't know, because I know I'm gonna fail. Hit somebody! Okay, if that would've hit myself, I would've cried. Okay, that cut was horrible. I forgot you need a boost. Come on, can we yoink somebody? Oh, we hit the guy's banana peel. Me. Please don't hit me. Come on. I'm so close. Come on. Come on. We got a fourth. We got a solid fourth, guys. Rose, if you would have put Believe. Wait. Oh, you did put Believe. Let's go. Believers won. Let's go. We had no doubters, dude. If we had doubters, you guys could have yoinked to their points. Ah, oh, dude, I don't like any of these. Super on Okay, now I need, I need to find a song that I can sing. Okay. See you. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong playlist, Sag. <clears throat> right here, right here. Okay, I know what I want to do. I know which one I want to sing. I have to look at the lyrics because I don't know...
Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> I said, go run for your life and tell me I'm right. Or let me know when your heart went numb. I said, go run for your life and tell me I'm right. The saying goes, if you love someone, let them go. No, baby, you, you, you broke my heart. Yeah, now how do I get closure when you're only ever close off? That was my song. <laughs> that was, I think, the final chorus and like the final bridge for Seta Off's Miss Mysterious. Okay, I'm actually throwing this race. <laughs> Anyway, um, I kind of want to listen to it again. Um, if you guys don't know, Set It Off is like, I guess an alternative pop punk band, but for every single album, uh, album, they have like, a kind of like, more soft, melodic single. And I think that was their one single from their album, Duality. It's, that album I think is pretty good. Kind of like, mainstream pop-ish, but it's still a pretty good album. Wait, I did not realize that a shroom! Oh my god, the- You got goosebumps? Oh my god. That's crazy. I'm like, glad you guys liked it. Like, I would like to practice singing more. It's just like- Oh my god, you don't set off! Oh my fucking god, another set it off fan? I don't know- Sorry, I- I freaked out because like, I don't know a lot of people who know who set it off are. But dude, I'm glad we have another set it off fan in chat. I'm generally so happy right now. <laughs> um... I have been listening to their new album on repeat ever since it came out. Cause like I'm trying to learn how to do the opening single, no, Skeleton. I'm trying to learn that one. I'm still pr surprised that it, like I've yet to drift. Like I'm not playing any better than I would normally, which is kind of crazy to think about. So, okay, but actually this line was terrible. <laughs> Maybe I, I am taking L's today. I, I noticed that I'm leading to the right as well. I don't- I have no idea why I'm doing that. The <laughs> focus don't want to lose points. <laughs> Honey, I think it's a little bit late for that. <laughs> Texas team. <laughs> come on, come on. I'm breaking way too much. I'm an unconditional believer, except for the two times that you doubted Dick, so I feel like you're lying right now. Okay! We got a bullet bill. You saw them live when they first started playing? Dude, that's crazy. I would love to see them live, but also the concerts scare me. I've never gone to like a live performance for anything. Okay, come on! Go! Go! Oh, I messed up my lines. Ah, no. Oh, no. Sag. <laughs> These don't count. Okay, I think we'll do two more races, guys. Two more. <laughs> Ooh. Let's do Animal Crossing. This one was decent without drifting. This one was doable. That sounds like a great show, Absolution. Like, I, you know what would be cool? For, like, all my fellow introverts who are scared to, like, go to the grocery store. Wouldn't it be cool if they, like, taped and filmed, like, one concert and sold that as, like, a $25 DVD or something? I thought that would be so cool. Because, like, oh my god! When, um... I paid... No, wait. I didn't. <laughs> I... Okay. I cannot be self-reporting. Um... I saw... A re-upload of the 21 Pilots like live performance because I was gonna buy tickets but I was working that night so I was like frick I, I cannot like I'm not gonna buy the tickets if I can't show up to the live stream performance but I saw a re-upload of it before I got taken down oopsie self-reporting but it was crazy and I think they're showing like the taping of it in theaters I think this month or next month 
But I don't think there was any playing in a theater near me. But... If they do that for every- for at least, like, one concert. For, like, any, like, music tour, I think that'd be crazy. I literally have to go to the store today, yeah. Because, like, I don't work anymore, so, like, I don't go out. Which I like. I like not having to see people. Because I'm moderate risk. I'm vaxxed and boosted. So I'm- I feel comfortable, but also, like, I still get anxious going out. <laughs> go! <laughs> but, like, I- Whoa, what happened to that guy? <laughs> they, like, zoomed off the left of the track. <laughs> Um, because, like, I, I get anxious going out, but then also when I finally, like, leave the house, I feel better. I think it's just the anxiety of, like, thinking about having to do something freaks me out. Because, like, I had a doctor's appointment on last week, last Tuesday. And, like, I was getting nervous right up to it, but, like, once I sat down in the office and, like, started talking to my doctor, I was like, I feel better now. I was like, why was I so scared? But also, both of my, I, like, my main doctor... Really young, really cute, because at my clinic, they're all residential doctors, so they're all, like, college people, right? And, like, she had another student doctor with her. They were both so fucking cute, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I remember I was texting my friend during it, and I was like, oh my god, I got, like, literally the cutest doctors in the world. <laughs> Self-reporting a little bit, but oh my god. But we're so close to top six. No. 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 Oh, I'm the, I'm the total opposite, Nyx. I love when people, like, upsail me at the register. Because in my head, I'm like, oh, they're doing their job. You know? Because... <sighs> because when I was management at the food service jobs, like, I would grill people if they didn't do their upsales. Because if I can make... Or not me. If the store can make an extra, like, 20 bucks a day, every day for a week... Okay, granted, that's only like 150 bucks, but still, like, up sales are important. <laughs> but also, like, if they do their up sales in a way that's kind of like rigid and forced, I don't like that. Like, you have to sound like excited to be <laughs> excited to like do your job. I don't know. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> okay, last prediction is up for the day, guys. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rose. I'm I'm genuinely trying. I'm, I'm genuinely trying right now. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and Megan keeps losing. <laughs> okay, we got some doubters. Oh my god, we got 100 believe, 100 to doubt. Guys, guys, this is our last race of the day. Last. Wait, I didn't pick! Last prediction of the day, guys. Oh, you're doubting this time? Okay, valid. Valid. I'm gonna ace this race. But guys, can we just talk about- I know I gloat a lot, but can we talk about how nice this punching emote is? I love it so much. I can watch it loop forever. <laughs> now I'm an unbeliever, yeah. I be converting people all the time, I guess. <sighs> oh no, it's Bowser's castle! Okay. This one is not gonna go well. I will try. It was nice that we got like a hundred CC, I think. So it's fine if we go a little bit slower. I think just any animated Twitch emote is god tier. Because it just adds like motion to the chat and also like they they're immediately eye catching, right? Come on, can we get him? Yes, we got the guy with the star. If I would have clutched and like retrieved that star in like a millisecond, I could have protected myself in the lightning. Yo, what's this guy what's Kylie doing? <laughs> Did you see their lines? That was crazy. <laughs> Oh, 
Were they doing a no drifting challenge as well? <laughs> like the lag. But it seems like some people's lines are whack. Yeah, for once we have a majority in believers. Which is nice to see. Like, I'm glad we still have some diehard believers. I'm liking this now. Yeah, it's fun being a doubter. But then it's also fun when you're a believer and then your streamer pulls through and gets a W. Like here. This bullet bill is gonna take me to a solid... Fifth or fourth place right now. Okay, six is still pretty good. This is good. No, come on, come on. I think what also sucks in no drifting is I totally forgot. But you lose so much speed. Oh, okay. <gasps> okay, okay! They fell off? That was close. I was really close. I was like right there. But as I was saying, like, I forgot that also drifting and getting like the turbo boost is like the how you stay ahead in the game. It's fine. I'm not sad. I'm not sad. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of glad that now Rose can stop shitting on me because now she's earned what 200 points? <laughs> okay, okay. We're done with online. Okay, for funsies, can we do one more race, but then be actually genuinely trying? <laughs> Two versus. Um, play as Gold Mario, because I want to win. How many points did you get, Rose? Did you get all 200? Okay, we're going back to my normal bike build. There we go. This is my shit right here. You did great, thank you. Hi, so welcome back to stream. Okay, 200 CC, no teams, normal items, normal comms. Okay, we're gonna do one race. We're gonna do one race to redeem myself. Which is one I'm guaranteed to win. Oh, I love, I love Sweet Canyon a lot. He did great for me. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do, I know we said last one was our last prediction, but we'll do one final prediction first. Well, I get first on my redemption race. Gentle reminder, this is 200cc, no challenge. No challenge. So, if we have any diehard doubters, put all your points in. If we have any diehard believers, put all your points in. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Okay, this is 200. Oh my god, who put one can down? Tell me who put one can down. Oh my god, you guys are actually insane. I didn't think anybody would do it. Ooh, anybody want to drop one key and believe? Anybody want to do it? Ooh, this is getting interesting. I'm giving back to the community. Thank you, Issa. <laughs> okay, we got 700 believe now. Let's go. Can we get a believer majority in chat? Can we do it? <laughs> okay, I'm going to concentrate now. Okay, I'm allowed to drift as well. Oh, look at that. We got a first right away. I don't know how some people don't play 200cc. 200cc is genuinely so fun. Because you can also do a lot of your skips a lot easier because you're already going pretty fast. So if you get caught in like the mud or the dirt, then you can easily catch up. Yeah, I love the aesthetics of this track. It matches my sweatshirt too. It's cute. Ah, oh, no items. Okay, we have no protection. Okay, guys, look at the map right now. Look at how far ahead I am. Okay, blue shells incoming. Oh, 
So I'm gonna take my items. Make me spin up! Make me spin up! Ooh, okay. Pro strat right there. Intentionally spin out to avoid a blue shell. Write this down, chat. Write it down. We're gonna claim the coin. Hold the banana behind us for protection. Just in time for the, to stop the red shell. No! Okay. <laughs> okay, that one scared me genuinely. Okay, it is literally impossible for me to knock it first right now. that look at that see i'm not bad at the game it's just everybody else playing that makes me bad <laughs> see i like to do like just like one race to redeem myself after these challenge runs because like it gets in my head sometimes where i'm like dude i keep taking l's i keep losing but i'm i'm still decent i'm still decent let's see Ooh, believers eating good today. We're finally eating good, mind you. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, wait, no, I want to get out of here. No, I want to get out of here. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, I chose chose tracks. Okay. Cool. So we can go ahead and switch gears to Animal Crossing. And since we are almost two hours into stream, and it makes sense anyway, because I gotta change all my game cartridges. Yeah, I think I did pretty well with that no drifting challenge. I was honestly really scared of it, but it wasn't that bad. I still think no breaking is... I think no breaking is more difficult, actually. Anyway, we are just about two hours into stream, so you guys know what that means. It is ad time, baby. I know it sucks, but I have to do it. Twitch has to make money off of me, right? <laughs> anyway. So, you can avoid that ad break for subscribing for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Or, you can link your Amazon to your Twitch account and get a free Prime sub every month. I gave my Prime to Rainy Day Games last night. Or, if we have any secret Oilers who want to gift chat subs so they don't see ads, now is the time. Anyway, we will see some of you guys in a few. You won't be missing much. I have to change my game cartridge so by the time you get back from the break we'll be doing animal crossing so okay let's go and switch gears <coughs> oh, okay if you're new to stream how animal crossing works it's a bit more mellow a bit more chill it's usually more just chatting vibes so feel free to ask questions that type of thing Also, gentle reminder, stand up and stretch. Like, I know I need to stretch more myself, so make sure y'all are doing that. Should we keep the title the same? Because I know the title is for the title is this game is totally fair and not rigged. I think that is kind of interesting for Animal Crossing as well, because we could tie it into the rich get rich. You know what I mean? Capitalism. I think the title still fits. You know, I don't think we necessarily need to change it. I think I'll keep it. That was fine. Yeah, I agree. Because, like, I tried changing the title, like, throughout the stream, and I think it's good. Because, like, if I'm on Twitch, for example, 
And if I'm browsing other channels, oh, bye, Kane. I appreciate you hanging out with us today. Hope you have a good one. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, like if I'm just browsing Twitch, like if I have Twitch open and I see their title changes throughout the day, I, I think it kind of makes sense. But also, we talked about this on Sunday. But <clears throat> you know how like Mizkiff will title his streams like, oh, this is happening, but then it doesn't happen until like four hours into his stream. So it kind of like makes you like come back into stream. That's kind of like what we tested on Sunday where I kept the title writing on all of my followers' names, even though we did everything else before that part of stream. I, I think... Okay, can I just say? Can I just say? I had a lot of unique viewers on Sunday. Probably because of the title. So I think that strategy of clickbaiting, like, the biggest thing of your stream, and keeping that your main title for the whole thing, is a good strat. I think that is the way to go. Nintendo games are rigged. <laughs> probably, honestly. But I feel like it's not that hard to get money in Animal Crossing. Like, you just need to make sure you're, like... Keeping up with your hot items of the day. Because usually from hot items, I get like 60 to 50k. <clears throat> okay. Hello, everyone. Right now in Timbaland, it's 12.53pm on Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. Oh, someone recently asked me for advice, and I thought it would be a good idea to share with everyone. <clears throat> he wanted to know what to do if they ever found someone passed out on the beach. If that happens, speak to them, make sure they're okay. Do it several times if, ne if necessary. Be persistent. Then offer to help with anything they need. We almost do our part to keep this island safe. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. He noted. Make sure they're okay. <laughs> okay, also, also. I played yesterday. And I think Bubbles gifted me the milkmaid dress. This is literally... My favorite dress in the whole game. It's so pretty. And I also bought matching sunglasses and then I, I, I wore the windflower. Because just that little pop of green is a nice contrast. Okay, let's get started. Oh, we got pink mums. Let's go. But we don't have to water today, right? Yes, we don't have to water. Let's go. Who put these here? Oh, yeah, my sister played offline yesterday. Okay, you know how, like, Nintendo basically was like, if you want to have a different island, you have to buy a whole new Switch. I hate it. I don't understand. It's that, that like, mechanic in the game is literally so stupid. Like, it'd be cool if you could buy a new game cartridge and that would count as a new island, but it doesn't. Literally so D.O.M. <laughs> I mean, thank goodness my sister is not, like, into into the game. I think the only reason she played yesterday was so she could, like, show her friend my island. But look, she's still littered and left trash everywhere. I'm gonna go yell at her later. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I love when it rains in the game. One, I don't have to water my flowers. And also... Like, I like the, the music when it rains. Granted, it's not playing now. But it sounds like you're hitting like the woodblock instruments. Or like the wooden xylophones. I like that music a lot. Oh, there's Gulliver. Should wake him up. Hey, wait, there's something in my eye. Yeah, we're good. We're saved. <laughs> Should I read all these? Or is that cringe? Okay. Way anchor. Check its blood pressure. Who's your provider? The last storms are coming! Brace yourselves, lads! 
hard to starboard. Tough to port. Stern to stern. Don't want to be flotsam. Can I be jetsam? It just sounds more rugged. Hmm. Oh boy. Off we go. On your feet, sailor. This isn't our, this isn't our first mystery beach, and it won't be our last. Ugh. Swallowed a lot of seawater. Come on. Get it together. Talk to the local. Here we go. Hello, stranger. Is this your beach? Your stubborn commitment to shoving me awake tells me yes. Wait. I know you. You're... Rusty? No! You're Megan. Hey, how you been? As for me, I'm still trapped in a... Well, they won't the relationship with that flirty siren who called the sea. And due to an unfortunate accident that wasn't my fault. And probably. I'm shipwrecked. Yes, again. Does it count as shipwrecked if I don't know where the ship is? I should probably know this. I'll figure that out later. For now, I have to call my ship and summon another rescue. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy... Uh, my, um... Oh my god! You know the meme? Where the guy's crying and he's like... Oh my god! <laughs> so good. My handy dandy communicator is broken! This isn't handy or dandy. Ah, sardines. It's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means... I'll have to wait up for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm. That could take a while. I've only got nautical puns to last for a couple hours, though. I'm begging you here. Will you look for my communicator parts, please? Sure, bud. Oh, thank you. Your arm must be almost as big as your head. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to carry them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't really have much of a choice. Okay, easy. Yeah, honestly. He needs to, like, get a real job. Or get a job he's good at. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I totally agree with the sentiment where, like, he keeps falling off. He should stop being a sailor. But, um, when I was, like, 12, my grandma, like, treated our family to, like, a cruise ship. And, like, one of the first things they tell you, kind of like when you go on an airplane, they, they play, like, the instructional, like, warning video. And I remember watching the video on, like, what to do if you fall off the ship. And I was just thinking that little 12-year-old me was, like, internally freaking out. Because, yes, the edge of the boat did have railings. But also, like... If a kid is small enough, they can fall through the railings. So I was like, um... <laughs> so I, I don't think... I only went on like the deck like maybe twice. Because one, I cannot swim. And even if you can swim, you're, you're not gonna last very long. Because the water is very cold. Because I think we went on a cruise to Alaska. <laughs> so if you fell in like the Alaskan Ocean, or the waters, no shot. Yep, that's my job. Unlucky childhood memories from chat. <laughs> Isn't it wild how, like, you don't think about stuff and then you just see, like, an item or you hear a story from someone and then it just instantly brings it back? <laughs> like, whether it be a good or a bad nostalgia. like I think what's something really interesting about the Animal Crossing is that the music changes throughout the day and I didn't realize this until somebody told me <laughs> when I first started playing but I think this time of day like midday from like 11 till 2 is my favorite music because it's just like really happy and bouncy 
and also like the doo, doo. midday <laughs> yeah today's been a midday for me ha <laughs> Damn it, I forgot. I need to stop dashing. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what, if there's anybody else who streams. But like, since I have my Switch connected to my capture card at all times, it always seems like she's lagging. Like, there's always like... It always seems like there's gonna be a dropped frame. Cause I know like this Animal Crossing is only 30 frames per second, I think. But whenever I have my capture card, it runs at like 25, it seems like. Oh, I also sold my I sold my turnips yesterday because I bought them for 108 and I think they sold for 200. So I, I sold them yesterday. So I was up a solid like 20%, which I think is pretty good stocks. Geez, 63k, let's go! Okay, I think we can get started on our dailies now. No problem, I appreciate you coming in and hanging out with us today. I cannot talk. I appreciate you hanging out with us today, Absolution. It was a pleasure. Hope you have a good one. We'll catch you next time. But yes, definitely invest in crops. Because similar to fruit, they sell for quite a... I was going to say quite a bit of pocket of change, but does that make sense? Kind of. They sell for a decent amount of money. So definitely start doing them. And make sure you're watering them every day. Because... Similar to flowers, it's on a three-day rotation. So if you water it only one out of the three days, it'll only bear one crop. <laughs> oh, I forgot my tools. So make sure you're watering them every day. That way you can get the full three crops. <laughs> I know. I, I totally fail on that. It's like, it's like, I look back and I'm like, how did the, we not know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember, like, telling my mom I was bi, right? And she literally had no idea. <laughs> and I'm just like, how can you not know? Because both my sister and I are, like, pretty neutral. Like, we're not masked, but also, like, we're not super femme. And it's like, how can you not know? <laughs> oh, also, the other day I got bamboo in the mail, so I planted the little shrubs. But hopefully those will grow by five days. Yeah, definitely get some crops growing. Because, like... Whenever leaf come by, comes by, I always buy, like, I think 25 and then an extra 10 just to keep in my inventory. Just in case. Oh, I didn't save. Okay. Because I think the fastest way to make money is not, like, catching creatures. Because that takes way, much, way too much time. But if you're just making sure to sell your hot items every day, that's a big reason why I, like, chop all my trees, get as many rocks and iron as I can. Because, like, the hot items sell for a decent amount of change. Like, even if it sells for 1k per item, that's still insane. Oh, dude, I wish- I cannot wait until I unlock, um, the extra stands. Oh, I, at Harvey's Island, that's what it was. Because I don't think I have it unlocked yet. Because just being able to buy it whenever I want, that is the dream. I mean, that's just consumerism for you. It's like, 
If you want it, you want it now, you know? <laughs> yeah, Issa, you're just simping for everybody, it seems. <laughs> I mean, I think for me, like, if you don't, if you aren't, like, educated on, like, queer culture, I guess, it's hard to, like, help identify yourself. Because, like, I knew I liked girls, but then I also liked guys, so, like, it was kind of, like, weird. But then when I started, like, looking up articles online, I'd be like, oh, that's what it is, you know? Because, like, they don't teach you in school. Like, your parents don't necessarily talk to you about it, either. <laughs> so definitely, once I started becoming, like, a Tumblr kid, that's when I finally learned. Yeah, isn't it also crazy? Because, like, I'm at the age where, like, people are starting to, like, graduate out of college. And it seems like everybody is a little bit gay, you know what I mean? Just, like, a little bit. Which is cool. Like, it takes people... Some people know right away and some people don't know, you know? It's also something I know people battle with a lot, so... That's why, like, if any of your friends... Or colleagues like open up to you about that type of thing. Keep it private if they want it private. You know. Oops. But also make sure you're like you're respectful. And also understanding of them, because it's a very like difficult thing to like be open about yourself, you know? Break out our question book now. I've had this sitting on my desk all morning, but we haven't touched it yet. There was a phase where I would paint clothes. I think I started doing it on stream back when I first started streaming. But... It took me a while to realize that you need a specific type of paint. You can't just necessarily use acrylic. Because some fabrics don't like absorb- Or they, it'll, it'll absorb the acrylic paint. And also not adhere to it well in return. So... <laughs> I think the first paint- Or the first shirt I painted. The paint shrunk in the dryer. And I painted on the sleeve, right? <gasps> Sorry, there's a new dragonfly. So like the- <laughs> The sleeve shrunk in the dryer. <laughs> So that shirt was ruined because I literally couldn't get it over my arm. Ah, oh, the bug's gone. Oh no. Sag. But like, I want to like, I think a really cool idea for like a clothing shop. Oops, I didn't mean to chop it down. Sag. Would be to like, have all your clothes be second hand. But also have them be like altered or like decorated, whether it be, like, with embroidery or paint. I think that'd be a really cool idea for, like, a secondhand shop. That's something I would like to do. Because, like, just- I think it would be so cute if you just, like, painted, like, little patterns and designs on, like, the trim of jeans. Or, like, I saw one video where this girl, like, she painted, like, these white- like, a white triangle pattern along, like, the- the leg seam of the jeans. And it was super cute. Cause like, I want to do that, but it's like... It's also hard to find clothes secondhand that'll fit you right away without trying it on. Yeah, same. Cause like, my feet are very flat. Because I don't walk properly. <laughs> so when I tried like, painting my shoes... Like, the, the bridge between like, my toes and my foot, that part got all cracked and like, the paint fell off. 
so it was annoying. Because, like, you spent hours and hours painting it, and even when I put finisher on it, it still didn't, like, adhere well. So it was kind of frustrating. Oh, oh, can we do it? Can we do it? No! Okay, I wasn't fast enough. We'll get him next time, guys. Okay, well, now we know Issa's type. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, I like to think I don't have a type, but then I think about the people who I think are attractive, and I'm like, oh, I kind of do. <laughs> but, like, um, I don't want to talk about it too much. But, like, I'm very much more so, like, I like the person more than the aesthetic of the person. So, like, in order for me to want to pursue someone, yes, I have to, like, be attracted to them, but then I... Sorry. I remember I planted mums here, but I think my fucking sister moved all the mums. And you know how I know that? Because I logged into her Animal Crossing account this morning to test audio, and I saw her inventory is full of mums! Now I know where they went. She fucking stole them! I'm gonna go yell at her when she gets home. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> but still. I told her not to fuck with my island! She literally doesn't even play! I told her if she wants to play Animal Crossing, she has to buy the new Switch OLED. And then give me the Switch. That little shit. <laughs> Sorry, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Lamo. Yeah, okay. My toxic trait is anybody who gives me attention, I inherently start crushing on them. That's my toxic trait. Because I look back at all of my, my crushes from high school, and they were all just people who, like, talked to me. Because I didn't have a lot of friends, right? So they were all just people who gave me attention and, like, genuinely liked talking to me. So... I feel you on that too, Issa. <laughs> because, like, also, in modern society, isn't it just weird for, like, a rando to, like, approach you and, like, start hitting on you? I think that's cringe. Okay, okay. I'm a self-report on my friend real quick. Nobody narc, nobody narc. But, um, they use public transportation to get to work. And they see this one, like, girl on the bus every day, same time. But, cause, like, he gets on the bus after she does. And then she'll get off the bus before he gets off. So, like, he knows what bus stop she gets off, essentially. And he was like, hey, I want to, like, ask her out. And I was like, I was like, okay, dude, use your brain. I want you to think about it from her perspective, okay? Because he, he told me that, like, sometimes they'll make eye contact and smile at each other. Okay, that's cute. But also, I feel like it's normal to smile at anyone who gives you eye contact. Right? Anyway. Because he was like, what should I do? He's like, maybe I can, like, one day actually sit next to her on the bus and, like, start talking to her. And I was like... I was like, use your brain. I was like, think. Imagine some rando guy. Yes, you guys are both young. Yes, you are both the same age. But also... Oh no, oh no. God damn it! Okay, but also... This potential guy who approaches you and asks you out, they know your schedule because they see you on the bus every day. And also, he knows what bus stop you get off at. So he can potentially follow you. So it's like... Should you ask her out? No. Literally, don't do that shit. Um, but yeah. I think it's weird to approach strangers and hit on them. Even if you have good intentions, don't do it. Like, just don't. Like, it's cringe. It makes everybody uncomfortable. So, just don't do it. I mean, you'll, you'll find more queer people, so you, they'll come in time when you'll have more queer friends. They will come. Okay. 
especially when you're younger, not as many people are op open about it. I mean, especially now when, like, a lot of, like, the younger generation is a lot more accepting. Like, I'm sure once you hit college, you'll have a lot more queer friends, honestly. Um, TLDR of my story about my friend. Don't ask out strangers. It's fucking weird. Because I can understand if you're, like, attracted to someone. Because, like, at that point, you don't- you haven't talked to them, you don't know them. You have an infatuation with this person. But what if they're actually, like, a really shitty person? What if they're, like, a bad, you know? Yeah, I agree. Like, I know for me, I do online college, so, like, I have never been in, like, a traditional, like, in-person classroom for college. Like, I'm not as, like, connected or close with my classmates, but my friends who, like, go to a traditional college, um, they definitely are a lot more open. And they find people who are like them and accepting of them, so. Your time will come. It's either enemies to lovers or friends to lovers. Honestly, those tropes are so overdone in like all romance. Like whether it be like um, hetero or like queer. But it's such a good trope. Oh my god. I was watching, um, if anybody reads web comments, um, True Beauty is a good webtoon. And there's also like an insanely good, um, what you call it? Um, K-drama. It's fucking amazing. It's so good. If you have not watched K-dramas, watch, um, True Beauty. It is so good. Yes, True Beauty! Amazing! It's so good. I finally watched all of the, um, drama a few weeks ago, and it is amazing. I cried. And the drama gives you the ending you want. Like, I don't want to spoil, but it is so good. It's the ending that everybody wants, you know? Yeah, there's a K-drama. It's on, um, Vicky. I don't know if you can watch it for free, but Vicky only costs, like, 10 to $5 a month, depending on what plan you get. It's definitely worth it. And the K-drama has so many episodes, it's crazy. Okay, we're gonna sell some stuff, and then go back to shopping. Yeah, what's nice about college is that, especially when you're looking at your, like, degree programs as well, you're always gonna be around people who have similar interests, similar ambitions. So it's definitely more of an inviting learning. It's more of an- it's more of an inviting work environment than, like, public high school is. Oh, I didn't plant the flowers that I needed to. I forgot to drop them off. See, just that bundle of 10 cherries is 4k. So anybody wanting to grind up money to start planting crops and fruit. It's the way to go. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Because, like, professors, like, they've went to school in order to teach what they're teaching, right? Because they're supposedly, like masters and what they teach so i feel like there's just a lot more passion and also the curriculum is a lot more like specialized i guess meaning where it's all working towards like a common goal because with high school since all kids are going down a different path whether it be like enlisting in the army or, like, pursuing college or pursuing, like, work after high school without an education. Like, you can't, like, fit, fit, fit your curriculum around such broad paths, right? That's okay, Asa. Like, I was definitely the kind of person to, like, not make friends. Like, even now, I don't have any people I'm, I consider close to me. But you'll make friends. You just have to... I think in high school, you just have to... It's hard to, like... Uh, I don't know how to put it. Like, you have to be, like, willing to talk to people, I guess. 
And also, not to take things too personally. Because, like, when you're young, everyone is immature, right? Like, there's so many, like, people who would be, like, petty. Or, like, end friendships for, like, something little in high school. But it's, like, it's not worth, like... Okay, let's go back and plant those flowers that I missed. I think a big thing is, when you're making friends as well, is you can't expect people to approach you first. Like, sometimes you have to make the first move. Like, if you want to, like, start talking to someone, just... Start talking to them. If you want to hang out, don't be afraid to ask them to hang out. Because looking back, I wish I did I that I did that more in school. <laughs> because maybe they're too scared to ask to hang out with you. So don't be afraid to take that first step. I'm so mad at my sister for stealing my mom's. I, I literally have no idea w what she was doing. Okay, there we go. All fixed. Okay, she also put apples up here. Dude, she's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I haven't finished Heartstopper yet, so don't, don't be spoiling anything. Don't you dare do it. Isn't it funny how I said I want to look at a question, but I haven't done one yet? Oh, I kind of answered it. Um, I think it's always best, in my opinion, to like read the book first. That way you get a basic idea of, like, what's gonna happen. And also you get, like, a better insight of, like, the character development. Because, like, especially in movies, there's not enough time to, like, fully shape the character, right? So for, like, mangas or comics, I, I would say, like, read the media first and then watch the show. And you also get, like, a lot more context. And also, okay, also foreshadowing, too. Like, you kind of know what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's free. I was surprised that it's free to read. Because I think for Tapas, like, I purchased, like, a boatload of ink. So I have a lot to, like, purchase chapters of, like, other stories. But I was surprised that Heartstopper was free. That was crazy to me. And just in general, I like reading media than watching media. Like, I much rather would read, like, a manga than watch an anime. Oh, it's on Webtoon? Really? Oh. Okay. See, I kind of like the idea of having your comic on be, like, on every platform. Similar to the concept of, like, cross-streaming to, like, YouTube or whatever. But then I think it's also cool to, like, have your stuff exclusively on, like, one platform. Oh, it's on Canvas? Oh, okay. That could be why I didn't find it. I mean, it's free on top of, so I'm happy about that. They don't have all the chapters on webtoon? Okay. I see. That's a good thing I'm reading it on top is then. Easy clap.
Are you pressing like enter by accident? What's going on, Nix? I mean, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> but don't worry about it, hun. I don't care. As long as you, like what you read makes sense, it's no big, no biggie. <laughs> Are you on mobile or desktop? Okay. Anybody watch Twitch on mobile? I hate it. Also, if you have, um, an ant- no, an apple. You're on desktop? Okay, something's wrong. <laughs> Something is definitely wrong. Maybe try refresh your tab or make sure, like, all your settings are set up. Um, what was I setting? Oh, yeah. If you're- if you have, like, an iPhone or an iPad, you can have, like, low latency enabled for the Twitch broadcast, so you have no lag. Which is cool and sick. But, I don't have an iPhone. So when I watch Twitch on mobile, I still have like a 20 second delay and it sucks. Especially when there's predictions running. <laughs> now let's go! Yeah, I agree. If I'm chatting in a channel, I'm definitely on desktop. Because just dealing with that 15 second delay is brutal if you're chatting. And like, I feel bad if like the streamer is talking to me directly and I don't reply instantly. I just feel bad. <laughs> Issa has moved on, guys. <laughs> you know what I badly want? I want a remake of Oran High School Host Club. Because that was the first ever anime I watched. And I had such a big crush on Haruhi. Oh my god. If we get a remake, I would be so happy. I know I heard murmurings that there might be a remake. And I was like freaking out when I saw like a leak on it. But that would make me so happy. Like I was so hyped for the Fruits Basket remake too. Like, I haven't watched all the way through, but I legit- I read the Fruits Basket manga every summer. Like, I read it every year, because I love the story and the characters so much. But if I can get an Oran High School Ghost Club remake, I would gladly pay millions for that shit. Also, the way it ended was fucking stupid! Like, I hate how they ended the original anime. Golden Retriever Men. Yes. I, I, okay, whenever I open TikTok, I feel so called out. Because, like, the Golden, the Golden Retriever type is literally my type. It's literally my type. And I'm like, God damn it. How did they know? <laughs> yeah, I agree. The pacing on the anime for Oran High School was, like, stupid. Like, it ended way too soon. Like, there was so much more to the story, and it felt like everything was rushed. Okay, I was like... I was team Modi Zenpai, but then also, like, Modi is way too quiet. They would not have worked out. I was also kind of upset... ...that she... Wait, should I spoil? <laughs> I feel like the, the manga's been out since, what, the early 2000s? Um, okay, I, w I won't say who she ends up with, but I'm not happy about it. I mean, it makes sense, but I'm not happy about it. I was just like, literally everyone saw this coming. <laughs> yeah, true. I, I agree with that sentiment. But there's gonna be like one chatter, or like if I repost this clip somewhere else, that's gonna be like... Oh my god, you were literally spoiling! <laughs> and it's like, I don't want that trouble. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. No, it kind of makes sense because it's like, of course, the main ship might or might be true, you know what I mean? But it's like, I feel like she'd be better with a different character. Like, I love the episodes when she went on a date with the twins, like, separately. I loved those chapters.
Anyway, that's the last thing I'll say about Oran High School Horoscope. Just give me a remake, please. Because I don't think there was anything I didn't like about the Fruits Basket remake. I liked it a lot. Animal Crossing in VR? I would probably yak. Honestly, I cannot handle VR. Even just watching people play FPS makes me sick. <laughs> no yes, aim <same> Lamo. <laughs> I think I can watch VR gameplay, but I don't think I could ever, like, play with a VR headset. Because remember when, like, augmented reality was a thing? To where, like, they just specifically make games or, like, apps to where you could, like, put your phone in, like, a cardboard holder and you could see stuff? Like, even when I did those, it made me sick. Like, I remember, like, when YouTube released the 360 videos, like, it was a cool concept. But also, I could not do it. Hi, Patch! Welcome back to stream. <laughs> Hope we're doing well today. God! I was close. I could have gotten it. But as y'all know, I throw every time. Let's pull up another question. <laughs> okay, okay, this one's a little bit crazy. But, what's the wackest belief I held as a child? Let's see. I think, as with any child, you believe in Santa. But there does come an age when you finally realize that, hey, I've never seen said man walk in our house. And yes, I've seen my parents hide the presents under their bed. But I think the craziest thing that like bothered me when I was little, like I kind of believed in the tooth fairy, but also not really. Because when I was little, like when I'd go to bed, like it would take me forever to go to sleep. So like I would like throughout the night, I'd wake up like itchy. Looking back, it's probably because I didn't wash my teeth enough. But, like, I would have this huge fear of, like, whenever the Tooth Fairy did come by. So, like, I hated losing my teeth because of this reason. Like, I had a fear that when she'd, like, go under my pillow to get my tooth, that she would, like, crawl in my ear or something. Because, like, I had bugs crawl in my ear when I was sleeping. I think that was it. So, I would be genuinely scared to lose my teeth because I would be scared that the Tooth Fairy would, like, attack me or something. Home of the Scared? What do you mean by Home of the Scared, Issa? Dude, I feel like everybody thinks that the microwave would leak radiation. I feel like that was a common misconception. Or like, if you sit too close to the TV, you're gonna go blind. I feel like every parent says that. But what, weren't there like studies done disproving all those? Or it's like, yes, there's a type of radiation? But it's the same radiation you get from your computer. Oh, okay, I see what you mean, Nessa. Oh, okay, I, I, I blanked. I, I don't know what that is. But... but... <laughs> okay. Just memeing? Oh, dude, the... <laughs> Don't goof with me like that. But I, I don't care. I don't, I'm, I'm not upset. I don't care. I don't like being debated, okay? Okay, also, you know when you see clips of, like, streamers getting debated into saying bad words or, like, inappropriate things through, like, donos or, like, usernames in chat? I think it's cringe, but you guys will never get me got. Because every message... Um... I, like, read in my head before I read it out loud. So... 
no shot you guys will ever get me. You can try. But don't try and say, like, actual bad shit. <laughs> like, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Do you watch anime? Yes. Or not as much as I used to. We were talking about, um... How much we want, like, an Oran High School High School remake. That's what we want. Like, I think my anime era was in, like, late high school. That's when I was, like, into, into anime. But I haven't watched it recently because, like, I've been trying to invest more time into myself. Meaning, like, actually doing my homework. And then, like, investing more time to stream. So, like, I haven't had time to, like, sit down and watch YouTube even some days. See, like, I wish I could have summer breaks for school. Thank you for the follow, quick Nick. I appreciate it. Feel free, chat lurk, whatever makes you happy. Can't change my mind. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna fight you on it, so. <laughs> um, but the way my school's curriculum works is that we don't necessarily have, like, a summer break. Like, the only breaks we have, um is like a two week break for winter break and then a two week break for spring. No, it's not even a week, it's just a week long break. So like, I don't have like a whole month to myself like people who are in traditional school. So it's like, I don't have time to like do stuff. <laughs> like if I had time, like I would be watching so much TV and anime. But I think that's why I like Twitch streams a lot because it's something you don't necessarily have to pay attention the whole time. But it's like, Something you can have on the background and still feel involved, you know? Like, even if you don't chat, just like having something on in the background is nice. Okay, I don't like anything that's in the store today. It's all kind of mid. Not capitalizing my name. I think it's cute. Okay, y'all want to hear the reason why I don't capitalize names? Because I have a distinct memory in sixth grade. To where I was like... Because you know when you're in kindergarten and you're learning how to write letters and you're like, oh, this one starts at the hat line, it goes all the way down to the shoe line, back up to the hat, down to the shoe, and etc. In my head, because of proper noun, it has the implication that it's important. So my little six-year-old, sixth grade brain was like, I don't like how the first letter is more important. I want all the letters to be equal. So therefore, from that point on, I never capitalized the M in my name. Unless it's for a signature. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that's just how little six-year-old Megan was thinking at the time. Based. Do I have a- I think I have a based amount. Oh, wait, is it capital? No, dang it, I thought I had a based 7 TV amount. Because it, it, I think it's like the Pepe drinking wine or something. Oh my god, I don't! I need to enable that after stream, Sedge. Because <laughs> I think- okay, let's see what hot items we have. Wooden chair, wooden toolbox. Wooden chair, wooden toolbox. I think my favorite thing about watching like the big the big streamers, right? Is seeing what third party emotes they have enabled, like Frank BTTV or 7TV. Wait, what did I need? Oh, I needed a toolbox. So we need softwood, iron. Wooden chair. Wooden chair, wooden chair, wooden chair, wooden chair. Thank you, Nyx. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> wooden chair, wooden chair. <laughs> okay, so we need regular wood, soft wood, and then iron. Regular wood, soft wood, iron. Anyway, what I was saying is my favorite thing about watching the big streamers is seeing which third-party emotes they have enabled. Because it's so fun seeing what their chat spams. Like, I think the favorite one I saw on, a, on another channel 
was Dies of Cringe. Yeah, Dies of Cringe, I initially saw in Sears chat. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh, Chatters, Chatters. If you haven't already and you're on desktop, make sure you have all of these third-party emote extensions enabled. It'll make your live stream experience like 10 times better. <laughs> I hate it here. Lamau, same. <laughs> okay, what did I need? Wood, soft iron. Wood, soft iron. Like, I think one emote that I enabled yesterday, I think it was in Tectone stream. What was it? What was the one I saw? Oh, this is one I saw. Tasty. It's just the cat licking. That one's pretty fucking funny. What was the one I saw in Tectone stream? Oh, this one. I saw this one. <laughs> this one is so funny. I saw this one in Extra Emily's. It's hold. And it's the Drake emote, but it's like Drake frozen like this, getting ready to stand up. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> okay, that's all. If you haven't already, make sure you have those third-party extensions downloaded. They are so fun. Oh yeah, this one. This is the one I saw. Bruss lied. I saw that one in Tectone's chat yesterday. It's so fucking funny. So, any chatters who regularly use third-party emotes, if you have any suggestions for emotes that I should add that you don't see, that that I don't have enabled, like, tell me. Because I want chatters to have fun with them. Oh, I have a lot of wood. Sheesh! And if you're on mobile, Sag. That's another reason why I don't like Twitch Mobile. Like, I know you can download, I think, apps to enable the third-party emotes, but it's it's a hassle. I'm just like, ugh. Dude, I have so much wood. I'm not gonna make a joke. I'm not gonna do it. Chatters, don't do it. I know the joke is there, but don't do it. Don't test me. You can put Pepe laughs in the chat, but don't... <laughs> Don't say the joke. Imagine sitting down at a computer. <laughs> Mobile gang, Sag. Okay, I'm gonna run a poll real quick. Mobile viewer? Okay. I want all chatters to do this chat. If you're watching on mobile, Type yes. If you're watching on desktop, type no. Poll is up for two minutes. There we go. Go vote chat. I need to make a command for polls. Poll is up. Go vote chat. That way you don't have to type this every time. How many of you guys are mobile viewer Andy's? <laughs> I mean, no judgment. No judgment. But also, mobile fucking sucks. Like, I only use mobile if it's essential. Because, like, there's sometimes where, like, we have three mobile viewers? Dude, that's crazy. I think we talked about it earlier, but like if I'm watching on mobile, I'm not chatting. It's like, oh, I have no room in my inventory. <laughs> Because the, the biggest thing that irks me about mobile Twitch is that there's always going to be a bit of a delay. And I hate it. But the, there's also some nights where, like, I don't want to boot up my computer and watch a stream. Yeah, I feel like that's standard. To flip to vertical and then horizontal. I feel like that's normal. But some days I feel crazy and I'm like, I type like this <laughs> when it's um horizontal when i feel a little bit wild <laughs> okay but also watching twitch on like your ipad is difficult 
Because yes, you don't have a delay, but also like chatting like this when the iPad is so fucking big. I can't do it. My fingers aren't long enough. Dude, that's crazy that like 60% of you guys are watching a mobile. That is insane. I feel like that's a big reason why um, third-party emotes aren't as big as they could be. Is because they're not enabled for mobile. Like, if they were, that'd be game-changing. Because I didn't even know what third-party emotes were until... Like, I started watching Twitch on desktop. <laughs> because, like, I would see the chat, like, in the actual chat box and see just, like, the word code. But then I would see, like, the chat on screen through, like, the streamer's, like, chat overlay, and I'd be like, how did, how did they get that, you know? One hundred K Nook Mills, yeah. I feel cause like I don't spend them. <laughs> Grinding, I know, right? <laughs> it's cause like I'm saving them for furniture. When I when I actually start decorating I'll start spending them. Yeah, when I think about, like, streams that I chatted, I definitely will chat in, like, all the smaller streamers that I watch. Because, one, like, the streamer will actually give you attention. But in, like, the bigger streams... Mainly... Because, like, I, I'm, like, genuinely so scared if I try and make a joke, like, I'm gonna get clapped. Because, like, when you're chatting, you definitely lose, like, that tone and inflection. Um... It's so, like, I'm scared that I'll get banned. Even though I'm not gonna say anything that'll get me banned. Like... Like, imagine if I get banned from Hassan's chat, I would be genuinely so upset and sad. <laughs> but usually in like the big streamer's chat, I just emotes spam. Or I just type whatever emotes chat is putting. Like, in Connery's pants, I just put capital D colons and Drake's. My favorites. <laughs> and then I think in Hassan's, I think the most common one I use has gotta be like Hick W. Or like Pepela. <laughs> I think Bebela is so funny. Do I have it enabled? I think I do. Bebela. Yeah, <laughs> Bebela. <laughs> so good. I know unban request streams are so entertaining. I love them so much. Anytime, like, even if a streamer I don't, like, usually watch, like, I will always watch their unbanned streams. Because, like, it's wild to see, like, what people chat. And also crazy to see, like, their apologies. Yeah, it was my brother. Because you can tell when, like, a chatter feels bad about their message. But then there's the people who are like, oh, I don't care. Like, keep me banned. And it's like, okay, dude. Okay. Granted, I have not had to ban anybody live. So I don't have any unbanned requests. Chatters, don't, don't do it. I know it's a funny meme, but don't do it. <laughs> don't intentionally get banned. <laughs> I know, banned for no reason, oh my god. Yeah, it's fucking insane. People are, I feel like those chatters either know what they're doing or they're just so socially inept to where like, they need help, you know? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> MLA format, yeah. <laughs> See, I feel like that's how I would word my apology if I, for heaven's sake, if I ever get banned in a chat. 
But like in my head, if I get banned, it was for a reason, you know? Cause like, yes, chat makes streams fun. Like if you can't see chat, that sucks. But mind you, I have yet to be banned in a channel. Let's go. I'm a wholesome chatter for the most part. <laughs> um, I don't know. Cause like, we talked about this earlier, but chatters, like, before you send a message in anybody's chat- That sounds like a challenge. No, don't, don't, don't try me, dude. You guys checked off the box saying you acknowledge my rules. Follow the rules. <laughs> See, like, okay, I thought about this. And I was like, if any long-term sub or long-term chatter, like, makes a really bad joke, I don't give a shit. I will time you, I will ban you if needed, depending on, like, the severity of your joke. So don't test me. Don't do it. Nobody is protected. So like, there's been a- okay. Um, literally. Yeah, I agree. I think it's fair. I think it's fair. Um. I- okay. If anybody else is a Hassan Abi head in chat. I know it's bad how he, like, calls out chatters and, like, opens their logs and, like, grills them in front of everybody. But I think it's so entertaining. Because, like, just to see, like, this little, like, shit troll, like, just be berated and stuff, it's like, yes! It's like, go off, you know? Anyway, there's been a few messages from Kiddily that I've had to delete, because I'm like, honey, don't make those jokes. <laughs> um, so it's like, yeah, everyone is equal, I don't, I don't care. Because, like, I can ban a mod if I need to. Not saying I'm going to. Like, it'll take a lot for that to happen, but, like, I can... I have full power over everyone in chat. And, like... Don't test me, mind you. Like I said earlier, um... I will read a message before I read it out or before I acknowledge it. So I usually... Will, like, delete it pretty quickly if I don't like it. And, like, I know what to do if I get hate rated, so... But don't test me, guys. Don't do it. Not a challenge. <laughs> See, talking about people being traumatized. <laughs> isn't it kind of crazy to think about the huge wave of true crime? Because, like, I love true crime. I don't actively seek it out anymore because there was a time where, like, I fell into the rabbit hole on YouTube. And I was, like, genuinely scared that there was, like, someone hiding in our house. Like, a stalker or something. Or, like, someone just camping in our attic. So that scared me. So I stopped watching True Crime for a while. Um. But there's, like, a weird fascination about, one, knowing that you're not the one being in harm's way. And also kind of knowing how to react in certain situations. And I thought that was interesting. Okay, not saying... That, like, I know what to do if I get kidnapped. I still would fucking probably die. <laughs> but, kind of to have the idea of, like, oh, I kind of know what I would need to do. I'm also, like, I don't- I'm not scared by, like, blood or guts or anything. Like, that stuff doesn't scare me. No, I'm not a sadist. Don't say that. I'm not a sadist. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's a difference. Sadists like people in pain. I don't like seeing people in pain. Exactly, same. If it's based off a true story, that to me is crazy. Because, like, the things that scare me the most concerning, like, true crime, yes, the psychopathic killers are crazy. But also to think, like, the thing that scares me most is, like, the stories where it's which, like, like, a family friend or, like, your family member, like, hurts you. Or, like, they just murk everyone in their family. That scares me. <laughs> because to think that you could be so close to someone and they can, like, easily switch or turn. Like, that one, like... The one dad who, like, fucking killed his children. And, like, I think he threw them in, like, a tank or something. I I, I can't remember, the, like, all the details, but that was, that was crazy. Oh, he killed the wife, too, and the kids. It was fucking insane. Like, I remember watching, like, a PBS documentary on it. No, a 60-minute documentary, I think. Because I can understand the idea of, like, stuff being fiction. But to think that, like, some of the stuff is, like... 
Like it actually happened. It is crazy. Me looking at my roommate now. <laughs> See, like, that's partially why I'm like scared to like move out because like if you you it's hard to trust people, you know. Talking about trusting people. <laughs> you guys can choose to entrust me with your prime subs because an ad is coming. <laughs> was that good? Was that transition good? I thought it was funny. Anyway, an ad is coming. You guys know what's up. I gotta fulfill my contractual obligation to run an ad every hour. So, no avoid that ad. You can subscribe for just $4.99. Just $5 a week. Skip your coffee today and get ad previewing all month long. And super cool sub only emotes um oh you can also link your prime account to your wait your amazon to your twitch account to free prime sub every month so or if we have any secret oilers who want to gift chat subs so they don't see ads now is the time anybody anybody <laughs> i got a sword for self-defense let's go but also don't use that on me please <laughs> Anyway, we will see some of you guys in a few. Okay, back to crafting. <clears throat> no, I'm gonna try murder me. Okay, honestly, honestly. I feel like every if everybody had swords instead of guns, wouldn't fights be so much cooler? And also, I would think less people would die because I think it's a lot harder to kill somebody with a sword than a gun. Dude, it's gonna take forever to craft everything, isn't it? Ooh, Wendy's, hands down. I okay, I was thinking about that today. Yes, I think dueling to the death with swords would be epic as shit. No, no, no Burger King, no, no. Should we run a poll? Uh, okay, let's run a poll, Nyx. Let's run a let's run a poll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I spelled your name right. Oh, it's and we're running a poll for you, Nyx, because we want to have fun today. Um, Wendy's. What was it, Wendy's? Thank you for the follow. <laughs> <laughs> Hip hop swordman, <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Ain't that funny? We talk about swords and we get to follow with swords and name. Imagine. <laughs> okay, okay. So we got Wendy's. What was it? Burger King. Oh, McDonald's is pretty good too, though. McDonald's. And what was the last one? I have to actually pull it up. Okay, Lamau. <laughs> Wait, I forgot the last option. Taco Bell. Fuck, I gotta do the poll again. God damn it. Mods. Okay, so we got Taco Bell. Okay, my vote is for Wendy's because I was craving Wendy's breakfast this morning. And I, okay, I told y'all I deleted DoorDash from my phone because I was like, I don't need to be spending $50 on one order twice a week. Like, that's cringe. Uh, Burger King and the McDonald's. <clears throat> Dude, I cannot type right now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I guess. I'm voting for Wendy's. Because, okay, my local Wendy's is shit. Anytime I go to my local Wendy's, I shit my brains out. So, oh, we got another room from Wendy's! Let's go! So, anytime I get Wendy's, I specifically, like, DoorDash from the Wendy's, like, in the next town over. Because theirs is good. I think Wendy's, like, premium, like, burger patties are pretty good. Like, I like their specialty burgers. I also like Jack in the Box a lot. I'm surprised Jack in the Box is not an option. If Jack in the Box was an option, I would choose Jack in the Box every day. Because their breakfast, all day, every day, god tier. 
If I could get an egg in my burger, that's an easy yes for me. Oh yeah, getting takeout is like a treat yourself. I got you. <laughs> okay, opinion. If we have any foreign viewers, I feel like all foreign fast food chains are better in like, or are like the foreign locations of American fast food is better than the American chains. We don't have most things, Sag. I because like I'm in Washington. I feel like we have most everything here. Like the only thing I want to try is Shake Shack, or like um, In and Out, because everyone talks about In and Out. I mean, at least y'all got a Wendy's. Because, like, we don't have many Wendy's in my area. There's only, like, one per town, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna be crafting forever. It looks like you're getting Wendy's next. <laughs> Chat has decided. Yeah, like, we have a Sonic in my area, and, like, I want to try it out. Because, like, I think the shakes look pretty good. But, like, I don't know, because, like, it's hard to find a good burger. Like, okay, I think the best fast food burger is, okay, I think Five Guys is not fast food. Fast food is not, um, Five Guys. Um, but I think the best, like, fast food burger is, like, the, um... Fuck, okay, the McDonald's Quarter Pounder Burger is pretty good. Cause like, it's decent- it's decent size, it's pretty thick. And also like, it has that kind of char taste on it, even though it's fake. I think it's the best burger. Certainly like, fast food. I tried the ocean- okay. My mom got Sonic. Sad she didn't take any leftovers- overs home for me, but she did take it like- Like the- the juice or what- the ocean water. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But she liked it. So, like, she went to the grocery store and they had, like, the, you know the powder juice you can get? They had the ocean water flavor and she bought a whole ass pack of it. And I was like, Mom, I'm not gonna drink this. It tastes like shit. I don't like it. It's like Gatorade, but not. It's like bad Gatorade. I don't like the ocean water. Mm -mm. <clears throat> what do you get from Wendy's? It depends on- okay. Whenever I go to Wendy's, I always get, like, their promotional item. Because I think the most- <laughs> the ocean water slander. I'm allowed to have my own opinions. If you don't agree with me, I shut up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> whenever I go to like any fast food, I always like try the limited time promotional item. Because usually those like taste better in my opinion. Even if it's like a dollar or two more, like I would gladly try it. Like, I like their onion burger. I don't remember what it's called from Wendy's. But it's the one that has like barbecue and like fried caramelized onions. It's pretty fucking good. But like I said, it makes me shit my brains out every time. Yeah, the one with the crunchy onions. Yeah, that, I think that's the one I always get. Yeah, it's good. Dude, I- <laughs> We have leftovers in the fridge. I don't need- I don't need to order food. I, I don't need to. I'm not gonna do it. Oh uh, no, come on. I don't need to, I don't need to. Okay. If I get 10 gifted subs right now, I'll order one of <laughs> Don't do it, but actually. <laughs> like, I'll re-download DoorDasher right now. I will break... My streak of two weeks without ordering food. I will gladly do it right now if I get 10 gifted subs. Anybody? Any takers? <laughs> oh my god, can I tell a story? So I was in Kidili's stream, I think it was last week. And she was doing a get ready with me stream. And, oh my god. <laughs> she said, chat. If I get a $10 donor right now, I'll shave my eyebrows. 
And I was like, a bet! So, <laughs> no other chatters did it because I waited a few minutes. It's like, I don't owe $10. And she dead ass, like, cut off, like, the, the ends of her eyebrows. It was crazy. Because, <laughs> like, if a streamer, like, proposes something in exchange for, like, money or, like, subs, I will do it if I can afford it. Because I think it's fucking funny. <clears throat> and, okay, anytime I make those stipulations, I'm joking. Like, I'm fully joking. I don't expect people to donate or gift or whatever. I just think it's funny to joke about it. Because it's kind of like the shtick where it's like, I'm joking, but actually... <laughs> But maybe I'm not? Okay, I think I'm kind of done with crafting. I think this will be our last batch and then off stream I'll just craft the rest. Because this has got to be boring to watch, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just craft until we tap off my inventory and I'll do the rest off stream. Because I, I want to get into you, Laffy Boos. And also, I want to eat lunch, because thinking about Wendy's made me hungry. I get the beef, obviously. I feel like Wendy's chicken is decent, but... Dude, when I had Popeye's chicken for the first time... It is so good. The breading is amazing. Oh, also, our Popeyes has, like, a limited time promotion item where they have, like, uh, a fried fish burger. And it's so good. Oh, my God. Because it has the same, or it's a very similar breading to, like, the, the fried chicken patty. But it's so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, I've never- the last time I had Burger King was when I was like 8. And it made literally everyone in our house yak, so we haven't gotten to Burger King since. Granted, it's probably just a bad restaurant, but... So like, I see the advertisements for like the Burger King chicken fries, and I'm like, should I try it? And I'm like, eh! I'd rather like- okay. I'd rather go to a restaurant where I know like I'm gonna like the food, you know what I mean? That's why like I'm so hesitant to like try new things. Because there was one time... Me and my sister, like, got sushi from a place we haven't ordered from before. And it was bad. It was bad. Like, they put way too much sauce on it, so it was basically, like, dripping, like, this mayo sauce. So it was, it was, it was disgusting. It was, like, borderline inedible. And it was, like, the one time I convinced my sister to, like, try a new restaurant. And I felt bad, because it was higher price point than the other place we usually order from. So we dropped, like, an extra $15 for it to be, like, dog shit. And, like, also, we ordered, like, a miso soup. And, like, the miso soup container, like, opened and spilled all over everything else in the bag. It was just a bad, bad delivery. Like, I mean, it happens. All it takes is one bad experience to never have you order or, like, buy from somewhere again, you know? That's why, like, I firmly... When I worked in food service, I told everyone to, like, make whatever customer you have. Try and be, like, their best experience because you don't know... If one, they're having a bad day, or like also, like if this is their first time coming and you have to leave a good impression. <clears throat> yeah, I totally agree. Cause it's like I don't want to waste my time or money if one, it doesn't have good reviews. Like I think online reviews are so important now. It's like I don't want to waste my money if I'm not gonna like it. Oh, okay. Before we end, we have to get the last piece for Gulliver. I forgot about that. Because I think if you end and save, he disappears. Or he despawns. Aww. I'm sorry, hun. I think also when you travel, like, going out to eat every day is really expensive. Like, I didn't realize how expensive it would be, you know? There it is, we got the last one. Okay, now we can go find Gulliver.
Okay, I feel like I'm not the only person who does this. But I feel like a lot of people bring snacks into the theater. Which I think is fine. But like, one time, my dad like snuck in like, whole ass soda cans in his coat to the theater. <laughs> And like, I think it's fine to like sneak in like a granola bar or like a candy bar, but like sneaking in a whole ass soda can <laughs> is a bit much. <laughs> like just in general, like I always carry like snacks and stuff in my in my backpack because I'm the caretaker friend. Meaning like I always have like snacks, a first aid kit, and water just in case like something happens whenever I'm out and about. Okay, let's talk to Gulliver. Get out of here. Wait, there's a fish. We need to get that fish. Yeah, like, don't- yeah, exactly. Don't be sneaking in chips that you're literally self-reporting when you're eating. Yeah, I never understood why, like, nachos were, like, a staple movie theater snack, too. It's like, the chips are so loud. And, like, dipping in the nachos is dirty. I think popcorn is reasonable, but like having nachos is like a normal item. That's weird to me. Oh my god, look at us. We're so close together. <clears throat> oh wait, I forgot to read it. Oopsie. Okay. Alright, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Oi there, crew, it's me, your brother from another rudder. <laughs> so listen, it happened again. Can you swing up? Can you swing by to pick me up? City my coordinates now. Gulliver, over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm gonna send you something that'll knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Ah! I'm saved. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. I <laughs> better get started. Okay, cool. I think we've done all that we need to for today. Like I said, offline I'll craft the rest of the hot items. So I'll probably I'll probably be up another like 100k by tomorrow. Okay, let's go ahead and save. And get ready for you laugh, you freaking lose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I keep on forgetting that my like chair is gonna keep rolling. Okay, it's it's weird whenever I take my headsets off because like then I start hearing myself talking and I get weirded out. Okay. Oops. Okay. Go ahead and change my title. <laughs> oh, I didn't change my category. Fuck, I was in Mario Kart when I was... <sighs> Sorry, I didn't change my category from Mario Kart to Animal Crossing. God damn it. Whatever, that's an L. I took an L. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. Ah, that's frustrating. Whatever, it, it, it's fine, it's fine. Need to stop molding. Okay. Anyway. You guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. If chat laughs, then type one in chat, tell me what made you laugh. Are you guys ready? I can smile. I cannot laugh. I can pause only if needed. Oh, those are filters. Long live the king.
My god, that dog is fucking big! Hey, so do y'all like uh, a clear water, or do you guys, you guys more brown water people? Which one, which one are you? Sweet popcorn taste. Part of this complete breakfast. Dude, dude. What the fuck? Washing the car. It's just the fact that it was muted was really funny. What the Yo, fuck? Yo, can you read this? What yeah. the I am brought me a little crack. No. Y'all are basically doing this. Fucking crackhead. This is the definition oh, of crackhead. Oh! Fucking dumbass. What? Hi. You such a sweetheart. Aww. Please jump. Jump. What if dude, that was dude perfect walk? shit. Oh. You'll just keep making that sound? Really? Till daddy's head explodes? Oh my god, Mario Kart! What the fuck? I love these memes. Dude, that was actually kind of crazy, though. Damn. Damn, boy. Damn, boy! He thick, boy! That's a thick ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba Dude, that's how you actually die. Cat in the world, have a treat. There's your treat, baby. Enjoy that treat, baby. He broke his board. Así le gusta la Eric. A la verga.
the fuck is happening? Look at all those NPCs. Gotta go. Get me out. No! Oh my god. Kids are fucking stupid. Let's go! We fucking are shit. Oh. Was the bit worth it? Yo, stop fucking calling me, bro. Stop fucking calling me, my- Okay. Is that Poe? Dude, I swear. The Mario Kart memes have got to be the funniest ones. Oh my god. If I can find a comp where it's just Mario Kart edits, Dude, that would go so hard. Anybody get got? I know we had Nyx laugh. Anybody else get got? Okay. Anyway. So. We did get two resubs and then a gifted sub from Nyx. So you guys know what that means. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set up our second camera. So I think we can put some music on too. I like the playlist that we had on Sunday with the weird and obscure Mario music. I like that one a lot. Like, I want to play that again. <laughs> Yep. I feel it. Is this a good level or do you want it louder or softer? <laughs> yeah. That way you guys have something to listen to as I set up the cam. <clears throat> Dude, I have so many cups on my desk. I have my water cup that I had milk earlier. If you are new to stream, what we're doing right now is for anybody who resubs, gifts, or donates, all of that cool shit, you write their name all cute and shit in a journal. Then I linked the mega thread for all the previous names. <clears throat> oh, I didn't post this on Twitter last week. Oopsie. You're putting the phone on do not disturb mode. I always have to give myself a verbal reminder. 
Because I'm so scared of the one time I don't turn it on. Because I know for Android, there's a way to disable, like, drop-down notifications. So I have all of those disabled. But sometimes it still, like, will show a phone call. And that's not good. So I have to make sure I don't leak any of my information. And also, no nobody I know. Like, nobody who's close to me's information, too. That's, like, I get really annoyed when people don't take, like, that stuff seriously. Because, thus, maybe you're leaking your own shit. But also, you might be leaking someone else's, like, DMs or something. So, be careful, guys. Like, especially with streaming, you can't, like, undo it. Because it's live. This is a new page. I have to add my guide marks. So, four from the top. And then, go. There we go. Guidelines are added now. So earlier, you had Cuterly resubscribe for four months. I'm not even on cam. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, I just realized my lines are off. Damn it. I was off by one dot all the way down. Kind of like how multiple choice, like the scan trying test, if you fuck up one, you're, you're done for. I just realized I spelled it wrong. Okay. I usually don't do this, but since it's the first name on the page, I'll rip the page out. God, I'm so annoyed. Okay, let's draw the guidelines again. Dude, envy in a video game. Decent amount of sleeplessness. I don't know what is up with me today. Maybe I didn't eat a big enough breakfast. I think it, maybe I ate later than normal. Or maybe I'm just hungry right now. Maybe that's it. I promise you, I'm fine. 
Megan is just anxious as always. Okay. K U T I E. And then an L. Take this L. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I didn't throw that time. Ooh, I also, um, ordered some gel pens. So hopefully those will come in the mail in a week or two. Cause like, I like these pens, but the fine tip is a little bit too fine. Like, you can't really see it from far away. Okay, so we have key to leave. Leave four. One. Three sub. And then. We had Emmy beef. With a three month resub. Chatters, if you can't afford to subscribe or gift or donate, there is a channel point redemption for 750 channel points. So where I'll write your name for free. You just gotta give me some of your meg bucks. <laughs> I know some people can't afford to subscribe or donate, so we are an equal opportunity stream, guys. That looks weird with the cords on top. I just get so worried that I'm gonna unplug the mic by accident. I mean, unplugging the mic is not as bad as like unplugging the Ethernet. That would actually be bad. Cause like, I don't understand how people can stream on their Wi-Fi. Cause when I did, I could only handle like a four like a four eighty p stream. Like I could do a seven twenty p stream on my Wi-Fi, but she would be effing like all the time. Like, if I don't have a hardware, I'm literally not streaming. Okay. Three month reset. And then finally, we had Nixon E. Yep. That's your one sub. Out of school, let's go! Hi Harker, welcome back to welcome back to chat. Hope you're doing well. Hope the rest of the school they treated you well, man. But I appreciate you coming back and saying hi. Uh, right now we're doing thanking subs. I don't think you've ever been here for one of these segments, but we basically will write names of anybody who cheers, gifts, donates, that type of thing. So it's a special sub journal. I think you saw it on Sunday. I can't remember. Anyway, we had. Nixon E gift for tier one. I don't want to use these. Use uh, Yeah, I yeah. Hacker was part of the follow journal because they followed in April. So yeah. But this is the special journal. <laughs> you did? I think you did. Yeah, because like, um, for every month, I have a different journal where I'll write all of my followers' names. So I think you followed in April, so I think you were in Sunday stream. Yeah, the more you gift, the more you get name written. It's pretty pogo. So chatters, if you gift, or sub every day, then I'll write your name every day. <laughs> so if you want that attention, go for it. Um, I think Emmy Beef 
I think her name is three times on the page. Yeah, wait, no, it's not here. This is it was before the birthday stream. Yeah, see, Emmy Beef, she gifted three days in a row, so... She has more real estate in the journal, I guess. <laughs> okay, back to it. Go ahead and add some accent lines. Ooh, that one looks nice right here. How's my calligraphy so good? Practice, dude. All it takes is practice. Um, if you want to see the pen set that I'm using, I'm using Cali Art. There we go. So it's a pretty lower price point brand of pens, and the quality is pretty good. It's definitely like a really nice and like soothing hobby to get into. But similar with like any like penmanship, you just have to practice and you'll get better. added my accent lines then we had nyx gift one sub okay so that's all the names that we have for today we have keter lee with the resub emmy view with the resub and then nexian or nixony gift the tier one to chat um anybody else wants to gift cheer or dono right now before i put it away anybody anybody ah! <laughs> um but yeah if you weren't here on sunday hacker i'll actually go grab the follower journal oh this isn't it this is the other journal i have three journals this is one for subs this one is for channel point redemption names, and then this one is for followers. So this is the journal that we do every month. So let me actually hold it up to this can. So if you look, this journal is more than halfway full. So we have a lot of followers, guys. So if we look through... Ah, look at that! There's so many pages! So these are all from... Uh, followers from all of time. Like, I think Hacker has to be in here somewhere. Probably near the end, because you followed, like, recently. There's Furman. Bullish. Oh, here it is, here it is. Here's Hacker. Yeah, it's so colorful. Right here. In purple. There you are, man. I'll go. <laughs> so we do the follower journal every month on the first of every month. And yeah, I love the rainbow. I think it's cool. Yeah. So even if you don't sub, you'll still get your name written in this journal. And like, I was watching back the VOD from Sunday and like, I was genuinely <laughs> intrigued because I was like, it's kind of nice watching people write stuff, right? Like, I sat and watched. Like, I didn't listen because I had my VOD muted because I was listening to other stuff. But, like, I watched myself write for 10 minutes. And I was like, I understand why people like art streams now. Because, <laughs> like, just watching someone do something they're good at, I was like, damn. I'm pretty fucking good at calligraphy, aren't I? <laughs> oh. But, yeah, so we'll continue the follower journal at the top of June, so June 1st. Um, so if you aren't already, drop a follow and you'll write your name next month. <laughs> Dude. Don't get a pigeon, why do you want one? Not saying it's D-O-M, but like a little bit. Oh, we got a package delivered, let's fucking go! I think it might actually be my gel pens, dude. I'll have to check on that. If it's the gel pens, so we'll start using gel pens tomorrow. Yeah, I agree. I haven't drawn in a long time, but art is definitely so therapeutic. Like, I think the calligraphy is really nice and fun for me to do. Um, 
I don't know if anybody I know is live right now. I don't think so. Because like I said, we only raid out to people I know. Because like, I know you guys are good chatters. But also, I can't trust you guys sometimes. <laughs> so we only raid out to people I know. Let's see, Ibai is live. Oh, Scootish is live. Do you guys want to go hang out with Scootish? I didn't- I didn't- I didn't mean to stream this late. Let's go hang out with Scootish. Okay, so you guys know the rules. So, since we have a good handful of people here, we only read out to people I know, so be nice to them. Okay? If you are rude to them, I will ban you here. Um, also, don't feel obligated to chat if you don't want to. Only feel- only chat if you feel comfortable. Also, if you are a non-sub, if you could just type in Peace Raid, or if you are a sub, you can do the Spin Peace Raid, and then Spin. Honestly, I'm probably go gonna go hang out with Scootish too after stream. <laughs> so I'm gonna be heading over there anyway. So feel free to copy and paste those messages. Okay, so... You guys know the rules. Don't spam too much. Just like put like a one line message in their chat, okay? <laughs> okay. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST with continue with the blind curve you played through run. So yeah, I will see you guys then. Okay. You guys have a good one. Bye.